Bet you don't even know my name But that's okay, I can't blame you You've got better things to worry about Like kissing strangers when you go out Spending time with all your friends Wish I had the guts to ask you out sometime I know this could never be But if I am allowed to dream And it was you and me Then I would laugh with you all night Take my chance and hold you close And I'd follow you back home If I could be somebody else I would be your own I would never let you go Maybe I could be your stranger One too many in strobing lights Yet I can spot you in this crowd And my staring way to obvious If I gathered all my confidence Could I walk right up to you Be the stranger you've been looking for No I know this could never be But I'm still allowed to dream And if it was you and me Then I would laugh with you all night Take my chance and I'll and held you close and I followed you back home no need to be somebody else I can be a Romeo and I will never let you go
We can do Scotland. You happy? So it's Sundat FM23 is finally here. And today we begin with Dundee Bastard United. That is their official name. I checked on Wikipedia. Don't at me. I'm just saying. Oh, welcome in, my friends. Was that Sun? It is. That is actually Sunday in Gaelic. I learned today. It turns out I was speaking Gaelic the entire time. I changed. What can I say? It's all about those costume changes. I'm a, I'm a theater kid at heart, really. Mm. Holy shit. Will Sky need to learn a thing or two from me, my friends? It's it's Dundat United. Oh, Dundee. What exactly is Dundee Cake? Can we do Dundee FC? Is there a Dundee FC? There probably is, let's be honest. Crocodile Dundee. I, I sort of do. We're still sort of unsure about that. Now, can we do England? Oh, God. How's it going, friends? It's been... It, it feels like it's been ages since we've streamed, even though it's only since Thursday. It's kind of mad. I've just been sat on it. Literally, the second I stopped streaming on Thursday, they brought down that bloody thing saying, hey, look, it's FM23. And I'm like, brilliant. Now I have to wait till Sunday to actually stream the damn thing. Let me just turn this down FM a little bit. Pixel pin. Thank you very much. All right, that's Streamlabs. Ch chill. Chill. Streamlabs? What am I talking about? 
Uh, is there any music at all? Do we do music here? I don't know. Thank you so much, Pixel Pinner, though, for the 26 months. Tanner... <laughs> Tan I, I see a Dundee fan is in the house. Shetland. Are there actually any teams on the Shetland Islands? Why is no music coming through? Oh, it is. It's just really bad. <laughs> oh. Also, thank you for those of you that helped me with that intro. Um, I literally had a big folder with just people saying, can we do Scotland? So that was fun. Mm. As the tangerines... I think well, there's plenty of room. I I've got plenty of emote slots available, so we could definitely crack out a nice little uh, tangerine emote. That's certainly fine. How's everybody? How are you finding FM23 so far? Because I've had limited experiences with, with it so far. It's funny you mentioned the running, Bente. Um, so I hadn't run for like two weeks. I ran the day before I went down to SI, the morning. And then uh, Paul and Ray with a 27 month. You bloody love to see it. Hey Matt, 27 months of brilliant classic content of FM23 well, brings you all of good times up the Gideon. For some reason, I thought that was going to be a longer sentence, and I don't know why. I was expecting more. Where's your essay, Paul? Damn it. <laughs> Managing to see the side of the board? I don't know. I just thought that... what You know me, chat. Whenever I do my beta saves, I like to just try to mix things up a little bit, right? So... We thought we'd do... Basically, for those of you who are unaware uh, or the uninitiated, the reason we're doing Dundee United is because on my previous save, they basically became the best team in Scotland. Um, not with any Sims, like during the save. They got... They floated themselves in the stock exchange and became unbelievably good and were like regularly reaching the knockouts of the Champions League. So we decided it would be... And that and chat pestering me to do Scotland repeatedly. Those two things together is the reason we're doing this, basically. Oh, Gideon's... what? He's around. He'll be fine. We've got to keep him in the cupboard until such time as we start with MTK properly. But yeah, as for the running, um, I hadn't run for like two weeks. And yesterday I decided, right, you need to get back onto this. So what did I do? I decided to go out and run five miles. And my legs hurt. They hurt very much. I, I regretted it immensely. Sunday leads to tune in. Well, I figured that Sundays would be a better sort of day for weekend streams in general, to be honest. How many days will we pass? I reckon we get through a few because I have a plan. I have a plan. I've not done anything, by the way, with the save other than like the basic admin stuff. Who's the manager? It's just Matt SYC. Mm. I just use the default manager. Although he is like seven feet tall. So on certain screens, the entire top of his head is just completely cut off. Because you can make your manager like seven foot two. And as Short King myself, I was not exactly going to pass up the opportunity to be that tall in game. Would you? Oh, dear. 100% win rate right over Barcelona. I don't know. Could that be Dundee? I need to make a command that just says Dundee United for every time I say Dundee. Because let's be honest, it's going to happen a bastard lot. Defensive AI being one of the headline features concerns me. Um, so I don't know what I mean, what do you guys think? Have you played it yet? I, I imagine most of you have played it so far or are playing it right now. So my opinions of it having played it a bit now is I really think that pressing forwards are gonna be the most overpowered strike roll this season for a start. I think that with the new changes to the way that players control the ball, I think people that can intercept and anticipate are gonna be really, really powerful. Work rate is gonna be more more useful than ever this year so i think pressing forward i honestly want to try a system potentially today even with three pressing forwards and just go absolutely mental with it they have been overpowered for years but i feel like even more so this year like i've used them in the past and they've been fine but i feel like this might be the year that pressing forwards become outrageously powerful that, that's my theory anyway i haven't played enough to really test that but i know that things like because considering all the talk about low block this and that sort of stuff it does for me still feel like yeah, you can press. Although, what I have noticed, though, is that you seem to concede a lot of goals in the last five minutes of each half. Pressing forward with a low block. Pressing forward at Dundee United. No, no, not a pressing forward at Dundee United. You misread, McKinney. Three pressing forwards at Dundee United. <laughs> if I can find a way to make three pressing forwards work at Dundee United, I will. I played right backless for an entire save. I'm not above these things. More aggressive than losing. Yeah, and I feel like it's going to lead to some weird stuff. And will Chelsea ever wait till the full game's out to do a temporary one for now? It depends, Ben. Like, are you planning on doing a Chelsea save as, like, your full main save? Because if so, have a bit of fun with the beta. Pick a random side. I spent a lot of um, Friday managing Dinamo Zagreb, which is why I've got about 1,000 Steam achievements already. I've, I think I've got nearly half of the Steam achievements unlocked just from doing a save with Dinamo Zagreb for a single day. Manda with that 12 months. Thank you so much, my friend. I'll give this a second. Mm. 
I agree. Um, I was on the fence in the first half, but the second half, you really redeemed that, I say. Particularly that lovely little beat that Matthew was dropping in the second half of that baby, 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 baby. <laughs> My son is also cool. <laughs> I couldn't... I need to find like a Scottish v, um, TTS. I don't know if there is one. Any HHHBBBers in chat? I like Zagreb. Uh, the thing is, they've got like Orsic, who is outrageous. So I was playing um, standard sort of 4 2 3 1 with two DMs, and I had Orsic sound the left hand side. And in the first season, in all comps, he got 25 goals and 25 assists as an inside forward. I honestly don't know, Fine Dutchman. Of Dundee United, probably not that many, considering we're going to be sort of dicking about and trying out this mad system that I want to try and figure. I reckon with get standard Gagan press ideas, you can get a lot with this pressing forward thing I want to try, even with three. I don't know how the rest of the team will settle in, but that's the beauty of it, chat. We get to find out today. Watch me get sacked on the first stream because the fans don't like three pressing forwards. Like an old cast. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Have you seen that TikTok of the Kazakhstani news presenter? Just who sounds exactly like a car trying to start up. It's brilliant. Mm. Corners much harder to score from. I got 18 goals from corners with um, Dino Zagreb. So I don't think it's that hard. But I have noticed that it's nowhere near as like, oh, you can't just lump it near post. You can, but it's not going to be the same goal being scored over and over again. I find that sometimes they sort of... They don't always do the exact same animation, which is kind of sick, actually. Big man on campus with that 26 months. Chuck, how are you, my friend? How are you finding out? Thank you for being a stalwart in the community and also overall a good dude and fellow on Ascar fan. I take it what I take what I can take. What is it tonight? Is it Homestead tonight? I am looking forward to that. I feel sorry for Christopher Bell. Can he do Donna Roma? How a second phase after corners? I don't know. Right, this is the thing. I've not actually seen too many matches because a lot of the stuff I was doing with Dinamo Zagreb was tests. So I was simming into the future whilst managing them to test out things like the scouting, which was the... So, oh, by the way, uh, this is quite important. The scouting setup I use, you, you've all seen it, the video, that works for FM23. I, I tested it. It does still work. So that's good. Also, the views that we use for filters can be imported again in. So that's all good. Uh, the only thing I'm going to change is probably my analysis views because that has... So there's a lot of extra analysis um, stats that you can now have access to on the chalkboard. And a lot of the per 90 minute stuff is the stuff I'm really interested in. I'm also going to be trying out a different skin today. I'm still not entirely convinced if I want to actually go with a different skin this year. But we will try this out. Because I like skins that kind of don't change too much of the visuals of the game. But add more information. So we'll have to see. But the one that Saz has made has got so many cool QOL changes that I really, really like. Uh, yeah, so you can just import your face packs. What you do, just go in your face pack folder. Highlight them. Control X. Control V done although i have actually updated my logos and my face pack so i downloaded the 16 gigabyte torrent file to properly update them so that means we might have lost a few people from the face pack fc cool half their team is wingers well you know what to do Flo. midfielderless just a giant gap in the middle two wingers on each side maybe even three you could have wing backs wingers and then advanced ones i don't think there is a red one yet no red this year anyway really well that's sort of well, then it looks like we're persisting. No, Saz's skin is really sick, though, because of a couple of features that I really, really like. Uh, right, let's just actually get away from me just jabbering on for a little bit. Move over to the actual get. Oh, that was... That was smooth. <laughs> um, now, as for the settings I'm running the game on, I, I took a risk this time. I went with recommended for my PC, and I just turned that crowd down a tiny little bit. So we're going to see what it looks like. If it turns to shit, then we'll just go back to the default settings we used on FM22. Uh, TTS is back. Yeah, he's working with Jack, if I recall. Which is kind of sick. Lulu Booster, thank you very much for the two months. Hold your gun. I will, but I'd rather hold this giant drinks bottle. Mm. That's a good challenge. Yeah, fair one. You could ruin them. <clears throat> this is Saz's skin. So, a couple of things I wanted to show you about it first. Let me just clear my throat immensely. Lovely. And I'm back. You didn't hear anything. Update Renzi. So, it has... um. A lot of extra stuff. And the thing I like about Saz's skin is so many of the things about it don't need to go to different menus. You can see all the information, basically, without switching screens. The other thing I like is this. This it's right good, here uh, is one of the things summer. I'm most excited about. Co-conspirator! Thank you for the follow. Very <laughs> In it. Right? So, bookmarks now appear down here on Saz's skin. So, for example, if I go to National Club Coefficients or whatever, and then I go to bookmarks, and they go, add this page to bookmarks boom right i love this because it just puts it down here and it now means we're just dicking about boom it's just gonna save so much time when we're doing the mtk budapest i can have all the champions league stuff down here and just bang 
so love i love i just one of the reasons this is here as well is because i just wish that you could add custom things to this screen the ability to have custom menus on this would be absolutely groundbreaking for me and just the tiny little things like that i wish fm had added yeah this is just my beta save mix of frenzy and tato skits so one of the other things was the beta out <laughs> exclamation mark beta you'll find out fuck around and find out and we do have a link to the skin because i've actually set it up george mckechran so <laughs> hey chap so from consuming fm content over the weekend i'm starting to get the opinion that endrick might be quite good i i've not always oh, free agent okay oh yeah so by the way um you can see again that you get an awful lot of information on these screens not only that but it also allows you to change it in here without having to leave this menu which i think is still fantastic 28 years old no 21 years old i mean i don't want it by ross county well, I think if nothing else, work with the icon sidebar. Yes, only during this skin, but the, yes, they do. Which is one of the reasons I love this skin, because it has that feature in it. Obviously, this stuff will be missing until we actually have. Uh, the skin is called Saz23. I wish Saz was here right now. He could probably explain it better. He might be popping in later anyway. Um, he, you, A lot of you will know Sazmaz from chat, but he's been working with... Um, well, he's, we've sort of corresponded about things I'd like to see in a skin. Most of it's stuff that his, his own work, though. It's just a few little ideas I've thrown at him, but most of it, again, 99% is just him being a legend, honestly, and come up with some cool ideas. You'll notice a few other things about it as well. Um, less obvious there, so... Um, you'll see it better once we get our first scout reports coming. There he is! There's Saz! I need to give you, like, a, the artist badge in chat, because you made this, and that's sick. The tabs and bookmarks thing are legend. Um, it, it's just fantastic. Uh, the man to talk to, Jacob, would be Saz. Sazmaz of chat there. But I, I'm loving it, honestly. Uh, I really, really am. Also, um, you might have noticed I've not actually put a video out on FM23 yet. So basically, I've got several stuff in the works, but one of the things I'm working on or going to be especially start working on on Monday is I'm going to break this new scouting thingy, the recruitment features. I, I want, I'm going to optimize the shit out of it because I've now realized I've got these spare days that I can spend the entire day just testing stuff to see what the optimized setups are for these scouting recommendations. Even though I still think my other scouting method works, that only really finds you wonder kids rather than established players. So I want to see whether I can find out the optimized settings for them. Because um, I think that'd be quite a useful one for people. Hey, Beyond Ultra. Revolution. I am on... Presumably 100, right? I haven't touched it, so I'm guessing it's just default. Uh, hang on. Interface. There we go. Let's see. Oh, also, this wasn't really thing they promoted too much, but colorblind mode. Hell yes. I don't have issues with colorblindness as far as I'm aware, but the fact that it's in the game, I love accessibility options like that, and I think that's fantastic. I really, really do. Um, where am I? Where the hell is it? Is it in skin? Oh, it might just be in skin, innit? It's in skin. Hang on. Where's the option to look at your resolution now? Have I just lost it? I am familiar with over 600 dance moves and I am programmed to get freaky. Help chat, I'm lost already. JJ Duncan, thank you for the follow. Yeah, the bookmark thing though, Saz, is still a massive step in the right direction for me. It, it just, it really, really, it works really well in its current state. And if you are able to find some way to make it even better, then that's just an improvement of what it already is. That's my point. It's still fantastic. Tech zoom. Uh, yeah, let's just type in zoom. Saz, would I fuck the skin up if I switch it to 95? Because I often did play on 95 in the past because of the monitor size. Or would that fuck up the skin? Do... Because I'll keep it at 100 if, if it will mess with the skin. Because I know you were changing some stuff to do with the zooms anyway. Player of the week. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff with the data hub. Um, the expected... 90% is fine. Okay, good, actually. That will make it just a little bit better to look at, I think. Apologies, mobile users, in advance. I used to pay on, like, 85%. Oh, that just feels... Hmm. That just feels slightly better. It just feels more... Oh, yeah, now you can actually see it with, it, with more populated stuff. Let me just show it on a player that we actually have. So... Obviously, no data there. But the only bit I'm hiding is the career stats one. Jerome Sinclair, another freebie. Jerome Sinclair... <clears throat> I want to have a little look at these. Would have told you. Ah, I don't read. <laughs> I let other people read for me and then tell me in chat. Because <laughs> I'm lazy bastard. Uh, let me do a couple of these lookups. Post on player development is broken on Reddit. Oh, as I have to acknowledge it's a known bug. There's a lot of people's long-term saves. No way. Hang on. Andy. Uh, I realize that's already quite a long post. Can you elaborate on what you mean by broken and player development? I realize that, or if you have a link to a post, that would be even easier. Uh, Mikasa looks really... Oh, by the way. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
we had like a youth in yeah look look, look 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 at this guy i forgot that obviously when you do add players to playable teams now the one thing about him is that he does have a lot of cons but you do love seeing a five-star potential 15 year old reasonably quick for his age anyway crossing and dribbling is fine passing a solid off the ball is good five foot what wait really yes he's 15 all right give him a chance lads <laughs> is this it oh hello all the cookies uh hang on is this is this comment specifically important or is it just where you technical advantage of the player is very poor oh dear So essentially, TLDR players are not developing technically. How does this not get... Oh, at least the QA guy was writing on it. But this right here, my friends, is why we don't start massive saves during the beta. Uh, I've learned my lessons in the past. Yeah, let's get Mike in on this. Well, so basically... Obviously, I'd have to give it a, a slightly deeper dive. Oh, I see. Fucking hell. That is um worrying. Thomas Koopman, thank you for the 13 months, my friend. Oh, wow. That's well good luck with your exams. They don't yeah. Um That's concerning, honestly. I haven't really had a look at most of the stuff into the future, even though I've done a lot of sims to the future. I haven't really been looking at the intricacies of the players in those saves, just sort of using them to build those. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yep, so I am using the same database setup as far as I know. Yep, 110,000 players turned on. Now, one thing I have noticed this year is that my database setup that I use does seem to have been slowed down slightly. I was noticing the sim speeds were definitely slower than I would have expected. Obviously, 110,000 is a bit more than normal, but even when I did it with like 60,000, it felt slower. That's a worry. Yeah, that is a huge worry. Community projects off the table now. Um, I don't know. But that would genuinely suck if they were... How could you not... This is this is what worries me. It's stuff like that where I just go, yeah, cool, squad planner. Great, squad planner. Have you tested the game? H has How does the game play as a game? It's... Future average finishing is down seven. That is, I mean, obviously bugs. Uh, it does feel slower, I would say. But then I find that the beta stuff can be just slower anyway. Supposedly easy to come by in Scotland, really? Why is that? Is it just... I thought they were bound by the same Brexit rules as England. Or is it just because of certain other factors because of the league? Strongo with the seven months. How's it going, my friend? Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Have a watch. I do... I, I've got a watch and everything. It looks kind of like my watch. Oh, dear. You have to run this in five more times to get better at it. Yeah, I feel like that is definitely true. Unfortunately, with the... Um, speaking of watches, dodgy Rolex. Love it. Uh, let me just get the... couple of these lookups done while we're here. Do you know Zagreb? I did trial that guy, right? We'll have a look at the tactics setup in a sec. Find that Oh, really? Okay, big up Scotland then. Use the best to test it for them. Um, yes and no. Like, obviously that's what a beta is to an extent. But at the end of the day, you are still paying for a, a product. And I feel like it, it seems like more and more of it has been passed on to the user. And then half the time stuff doesn't get fixed anyway. Look at all the, the stuff that was wrong from the beta last year that then got not fixed the entire season. So, can't remove the ring. Yeah, your manager will be married, damn it. He just has to wear it on a different finger. <laughs> I just... Things like that for me are just some of the most important stuff. You know? Still called Zebra under 23. Are they really? Ri oh, they won't be in my save, I don't think, because I've obviously got a name fix in anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Obviously, you know, Zagreb are great. And a really fun save, honestly. Like, you get a lot of domestic success straight off the bat, so I wouldn't expect to see much um, challenge there. But they are still fun. Let's have a look at Jerome Sinclair. Did I really look him up and scout him? Or did I get halfway through typing his name and then... What's he like as a pressing forward? Oh, that work rate. I mean, he's a, he's a trial. He looks... A, I thought for a second... It's probably just the kit. I thought... Oh, Troy Deeney. Ruben Colwell. Uh, oh, yeah. He's not one for us, but he is there nevertheless. Any great Dynamo youth player? Oh, not a clue. Honestly. Like... I haven't played enough of them. I was mostly simming and testing stuff. Napoli's new name. Do you mean Nope? Or was it Parthenopolis? But all I saw in it was Nope. 
delightful stuff. Like, the name is kind of cool, but the only part of it that stood out to me was nope. Half a nope. <laughs> it's like you're trying to communicate with a cabbie in Greece. It's like, where, where are we headed? The path of nope. <laughs> it's just, is the path not in Greece? Probably not. It'd probably be in, I don't know, Naples? I'm, that doesn't sound right in my head. I felt like the Parthenon was in Greece. It's just me just getting horrendous geography issues here. Uh, we actually can't scout him because no scouts available. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, Brianza. Is that like, why is Monza not licensed? That seems a strange one. Grant Ward. Free Agent 27. <laughs> uh, there he is. Ooh. I like players that can play both central and out wide at the same time. There was their little enigmas. Hey, Alec. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Cool. It's called his debut for Mick Killian. That's a good start. Particularly, it's Killian who need to promote, aren't they? Berlusconi wants to be. Wow. <laughs> How very unlike him. Uh, the skin is. Exclamation mark skin. One day, I kind of want to just work with a skin designer to make a skin that's just called exclamation mark skin. <laughs> just so I can be really pedantic. Because you know me. Do you think the squad planner will be useful to you? Absolutely no. Uh, I can't see it. The only time I can see myself using the squad planner will be at the end of YouTube se seasons when I'm plan when I'm showing people what kind of plans I have for the following year. I would never use it outside of that personally, unfortunately. Uh, Joe Levens. I wish I could show you more about him. Unfortunately, I can see he has good heading. Gives good head. Um, 45 years old. Uh, hang on. He's 45 years old. Oh, right. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, what? How have they got a 40? He's not, I mean, he's probably quite shit and we can't even find out, but Jesus. It's like Yuri Crop material here, isn't he? Fair play. 51 year old game at start. Hang on, at the start of the game or at start? Son of Crop. More like father of Crot at this point. It's supposed to be a scout. Oh, so it's like how Crot ended up in the game. Fair one. It's at 19 heading, potentially. Arrow! Robin, thank you for the nine months, my friend. I remember how we rose you bed on Tuesday and didn't get a notification. The gods know I have been nerd. It was weird, though, because you still had the badge next to your name. The entire stream after that, which is... So I don't know if Regan Booty is an assignable league. Oh, tell a lie. Of course he is. Right. You know what to do. Why can't I scout him? That seems like a bit of a bug. He's not shy. Oh, is he actually really good? Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Harris, thank you for the follow. Is this like a... H how is that in the game? Is my question. Love that 12 natural fitness. Obviously, he'll like... Uh, what's up, Alec? Joe Armstrong with the Prime. It will come through in a second. I don't know why it's so delayed. The lights have changed. We know it's... And away they go. There it is. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. That's super kind of you. He is neat select. <laughs> he is. Harold would be proud. As well as being a scout. Yeah, but... My point is, should people be doing that to a game? Uh, look up. So we have a look up for things like that. Uh, Alec, uh, you know the rules. <laughs> Bootay. So did I get the scout on him? Because I forgot to put the system where we had booty in the game. But there we go. No scout update settings in FM23. Uh, how do you mean, Flying Dutchman? Because I was worried about this when I first played it, uh, but apparently not. So... Ooh, kick, 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 kick. Well, that was bizarre. Peter Brave with the 12 months as well. Thank you very much, friend. How many scouts? I think so. I hope so. Let me look at scouts. We've got two. We have two scouts. It's fine. One of the best in the world. I, I guess it would have to, right? You can't get any worse. In the scouting meeting. Uh, right, so... Do, uh, hang on, let's just... Hang on, scouting Center. Uh, acknowledge. We'll sort that in a sec. Get that to list. Do you mean these? Because I'll be honest with you. I was extremely worried when I first got my hands on this. Because this was bugged out. And yeah. This whole thing was missing. And I sat there and was like... They better not have removed the ability for me to tell them to, to turn that shit off, basically. Because <laughs> I would have been worried. Uh, 
Let me just turn those back on. That one has to stay like that, I think, because then if you... Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get rid of those. That all goes to the scouting center, I think. We're fine. Because your skin. Uh, well, that... Bear in mind, that bug I'm talking about was on default skin. Oh, let's get this one this morning. Yes. Uh, I updated to the latest version that you put in. Um, I updated it before I started stream, basically. Ah, so the keep scouting button. So this is the thing. I actually put this in the Discord. People told me it was in the game last year. And I know it was to a certain extent, right? But... I think that's only with new reports, if I recall, last time. That, that was my theory. Uh, yeah, we actually do have a new skin already, Lee. This is, um, uh, this is Saz's skin. I keep saying Renzi. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right, okay. So, next thing's next. I think I did the lookups. Have I missed one? I have. Of course I have. We have missed Dave Mulcahy. All I can hear in my head is me shouting, Mulcahy! Aw. Dave is sadly missing from this. He's probably retired, honestly. He was quite old. I'm excellent, Bill. How are you, my friend? How did Israel get on yesterday? Please don't beta like no more. But yeah, but no choice with these situations. You gotta you gotta start where you gotta start. What kind of bugs are there? Um I honestly haven't encountered too many so far. Other than just like the obvious ones that we've discussed so far that I personally not encountered, but I know that if I played a little bit more, I would be in. But now that there's more of you here. What do you think of the game so far? As far as I know, there's no limits to the loan farms and stuff like that. But I haven't really checked into that stuff yet. Actually, that's a very good point. Has anyone actually looked at the situation with the loan rules? Like, has that been implemented? And if so, how draconian are we looking? Very important. Right, so basically, that's the tactic I've been using so far. And it's well, not with this save, obviously, but it's been working quite nicely for me. A couple of little tweaks to it, though. Um, basically, it's default gag and press with a load of changes to it. Um, now, what I want to do today, though, is copy this in here and then try something a bit mad. Uh, if it would let me. There we go. I want to try this three pressing forward thing I was on about. Because I think they're so overpowered, especially this season. Now, how the rest of the team will cope around that, they'll have to stay as wingbacks. That's fine. Tactic screen. I don't know. I must admit, the tactic screen does look slightly odd to me. The Champions League format, I can tell you, not only the Champions League format, but remember, that format also permeates across all three of the major competitions. So, I was playing with Dinamo Zagreb in the Europa League, and it's weird seeing like a 36-team group stage. It's very, very bizarre. No new player roles or anything like that. Subs on the side. Uh, so, yeah, you can click subs like that, and it brings the subs back out, but they're on the other side, and it kind of, yeah. Can see with balls in behind. Uh, not so far, anyway, but I I'd be curious to test things. Do I, put, do I just go like that and just see what happens? So you can stretch it. Can you? I don't think you can. I feel like this screen is missing. Anyway, we've got a friendly to come. We can test this in a second. Yeah, the draw's definitely... Um, what I would say, though, is I do like the fact that there is more room for stuff on the right. Because I was constantly having to squeeze stuff into this. Obviously, I'll have to change this around and use some of the stuff that I actually use in here at some point. But I did often find that I was missing information on this screen. And it was a bit of a pain in the ass. So we will see. Not to do the draws like, oh god, yeah, because there's about a thousand teams in it, aren't there? That's a good point. Must respond. What am I must responding to? Oh, of course. See what horrendousness they want from me. Screw it. We'll just accept it. There's no point in negotiating it because I suspect, as in previous years, they don't negotiate in any of the options anyway. So you just kind of have to go with it. Right. What I'm going to do straight off the bat, though, is set up. Uh, actually, what we're going to do straight off the bat is take that money from Curse Smith. Especially as when I was dicking about with this last time, they only offered me 500k. So that's good. That will give us some transfer budget, which we're going to need, I suspect. It's got a laptop. There is a... I believe there's a laptop version, is there not, Saz? We prefer our vision. <laughs> yeah. I substitute your vision with my own. Right, I'm just going to quickly set a scouting focus, because I'm that guy. I'm doing those things now. Uh, right. And like I said, I'm going to try and break this, but not today. <laughs> uh, wait, where is it? Is it just in here? Hang on. Why is my brain gone? Okay. That's another thing for me. It feels to me like it's an unnecessary extra step to have to go to this screen to then create a recruitment focus when you're showing the recruitment focus. Why not just have that button on this screen? Little stuff. So, what do I want? I guess we probably want some strikers, considering we're probably going to be trying to play three of them for a bit. Top priority. Two scouts. I love that you can actually assign as many scouts as you want. Or, yeah. 
You can actually pick as many scouts as you like there, which I kind of like. Uh, let's just do... Max 25. Current ability 2. Bit of that. Uh, we kind of want... Actually, transfer alone is fine. Analysts not interested in that. Profits is the role. Uh, pressing forwards, because then we'll get better, hopefully better work rate on them. Further details. I know you can add extra stuff here, but do I actually want anything? Work permit chance? I think I'll just leave it kind of blank for now. That'll be fine. This... They seem to have definitely changed a few things. When I was playing it originally, there was definitely some issues with like no players counted as near misses. So it was all like you, which sort of defeat the point. But I have noticed you got loads now, which is kind of the point. Hey, Mush. Oh god, yeah. The also, I'm glad we bring you bring up the Villa game. Um, I now fully understand why Villa fans wanted Gerard gone. I had not really seen Villa play this year until I watched the Fulham game on Thursday night, and we were talking about the game prior to that during stream on Thursday. <laughs> Guldor, thank you for the follow. And I don't know why it's not popped up. But people were like, oh, I was thinking, it can't be that bad. And then I watched the game. I now completely get it. And I think all I can say is, <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? Okay, monthly staff meeting. Right, how do we turn these off? Never. Good. Love that. I love that you still, even though you said it to never, you still have to attend the first one and then immediately end the first one. <laughs> staff meetings. Who'd have them? They're like a problem child. Right, so we're going to get McEachern in on loan. Sinclair in on loan. Ward in on loan. Can I just... Not loan, you know what I mean. Trial. Let me just see if I can trial Regan Booty. It seems unlikely that I'd be able to, but you never know. It's Mason United. We can afford him. They might let us. I hope he's really good this year. I really do. Hang on, he's never played for Mason United. I swear he was at Mason last year. Pep Cardiola. I feel like I have done that in the past. I was messing around with mid-journey again the other day, and I accidentally made a GTA version of Jurgen Klopp. It just... It looked pretty good, actually. It's a McEachern. We'll keep him a little bit longer, obviously. Because we've got some quite good players, like Dylan Levitt. Sinclair. What's that work? That work rate is a bit low. Of Laura's far more FM22 than FM20. Oh, no. that's You hate to see it. Oh, Ward looks all right. Interesting. Regan Booty is just eternal. Did they say... Oh... We'll have to scout him a bit. Let's just ask his that. Wait. Has he not got an agent? Oh, we just don't know, do we? Dazza with that Hello 20 from the train Are you finding the game so far? Um, I don't really have my teeth sunk into it enough to give a proper review of it yet, I would say. How good is the Aussie keeper? Agent Nunn. Maybe his agent's called Nunn. Maybe it's Craig Nunn. It's not Craig Nunn, it's Craig. Fuck it, let's just... Let's just see. They can't want that much. What's the one like 500 grand? 62. How about 62? And a friend. Okay, Mason definitely. George Nunn. It's George Nunn. There you go. Problem solved. 62 grand for Egan Booty. It's only just only won't come. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I swear Egan Booty was playing for Maidstone last season. Which. sworn he was at Maidstone last year as well. Maybe I'm just wrong about that, but I could have sworn he was playing for Maidstone last year, because I swear that's where I signed him from for Treaty. Is that like a database glitch? Where they just got his... He did. So... Oh, I see. So it's just bad research then. Still making an appearance. Yeah, but then why does it say that this is his first season at Maidstone? It's like it's ignored a year. So it's going to imply... Yeah, it's missing 2021-22. But that's going to fuck us because it means that he's going to be new to the club when in fact he isn't new to the club. Good. Well, there's our first bug. Regan Booty, how dare you? Watch him say no now because he's only just joined the club even though he's been there a year. Uh, Hang on, what? Non-negotiable offer for... Well, it's non-negotiable, so you can piss off St. Mirren. Immediate L there. Most of the fixes until release. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Have a budget. We do have a budget, actually. Yes. Uh, we've managed to sell a clause. So we've got 1.4 million. Why is that red? Oh, it's because of the trial, isn't it? We've got 1.4 million because I sold a clause. So I'll take that. Viking Superman. Thank you for the 31 bastard months. Well, well, well. How the turntables? That reminds me, Viking. 
Um, I know that you and Twazik have been obsessed with this vampire. Is it called Vampire Survivors? I'm probably going to download that and buy that after stream so I can play it after the Fulham game. Uh, Moon has signed a new deal. Don't know what Alfie would say. Right. Oh, God. This, this menu. It's still impossible to sell dead wood, presumably. Actually, yeah, we should look through the squad in a minute. True. I'm not used to this new save stuff. I figured you were, uh, Ollie. It's amazing. G give me the TLDR. Vibe. Like, give me the elevator pitch for the game. I I'm sure someone else in chat has probably played it too. Uh, we need to sell play. No, no. We just, we don't do anything here. Champions League. Hell no. Top half. That's what they said. They wanted top half. They didn't want top half. Ah, so now we're into that lovely situation where players and board and supporters want different stuff. Uh, hang on. I love how... All right, fine. Qualify for the conference league? All right. It said we'd come sixth, and I can't remember how many spots they had. Uh, so he's support in this dressing room. Nothing to add. All right, Stephen. Go back to Marseille. I didn't realize he was even here. Brilliant. Oh, why can't I not point fingers and say that's brilliant? Scottish Cup, uh, I guess, last stages. Yeah. I should have actually looked at the uh, requirements before I started entering this menu, really, shouldn't I? Euro Nations, leave it to the side. Oh, uh, apparently I just unlocked an achievement. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, this. So basically, if you go, if you're using this skin anyway, so what you want to do is go to the screen that you want to add to the bookmark thingy. So in this case, if I go to Montenegro, for example, we've all wanted to do that. Hello, sir. Beautiful. Then if you go up to this and then hit bookmarks and go add bookmark, you can then do Montenegro profile and then you can then add it like that. And I think, ah, oh, I was hoping you'd be able to click it there, but obviously that's a lot of work. Uh, so then you go into this and you can manage them from here. Let me just remove the Montenegro one. It doesn't let you order them yourself though. So you've got to remember that. You have to sort of name them accordingly. But that's how it works. Germany, Japan. I don't know. I have done a national team. I've done all the name fixes. So maybe that fixed it. I don't know. And I, exactly, you can go to Montenegro whenever you bastard like. Let's have a look through the squad. So, start with ability here. So, Jamie McGrath's on loan from Wigan. Okay, actually, I love this. He's solid. Plus, if we're going to try this weird system out, <clears throat> he suits two different positions. Uh, whoever, thank you very much for the follow. Why is my follow alert not popping up? That's weird. Unless it's like old refollows. Like, although, I think it still works for those two. Lovely. Like that vision. Good technique. I love the Mets. He's good. Jumping reach is a little low, but he's only five foot nine. In fairness. Oh, did I miss it? Shit. Rogue light. We wave of enemies charges. You have the abilities which are unlocked by killing enemies with scales and difficulty. Like that immediately. Big fan of that. Penalty taker. Watch him still miss the ball. He's blatantly going to miss the ball. Let's be honest. We've got Dylan Levitt. Okay, this is the one everyone was excited about. Hang on. That's so weird. That is so fucking weird. Okay. Explanation required. You know, I've been doing the make your sa make this your save sims overnight, right? I did one on Friday night, which was just England down to tier six to get some weird shit going. So I've got a save file with South Shields in the in the championship in case anyone's interested, right? He's the fucking manager. He is the manager of South Shields in the championship in that save. That's mad. What a weird connection. Also, he's extremely good. I haven't put it up in the uh, in the Discord yet because I haven't gone through them yet. But so that's so bizarre. I, I really love... These are going to come in so handy once we actually start seasons. Just being able to have all this analytics right there. So how on earth is he at Dundee United? How much did... I know it's undisclosed, but has anyone got any clue how much they paid? Because he seems like an absolute bargain. Look at this. The technicals are really solid. Solidish work rate too. 23 grand. Surely they didn't pay 23 grand for him. But if so, that's outrageous. Uh, as he's Behic, he's quite old, but he is solid. Actually, you know, he's not just solid. He's really good. And he's quick. I like a bit of him. He was kidnapped. Fair one. And he's Australian, which means he has to play. There's Grant Ward on loan. Tony Watt, of course. What's his work rate like? Surprisingly high, actually. I didn't realize he was back in um, Scotland again now, actually. Yeah, he's very good. Right, Edwards center. Oh, wow. 16 jumping reach, 19 heading on Ryan Edwards. You, sir, are going to be very, very important for set pieces. He is admittedly... the He is a human glacier. But that's fine. We just... Yeah. I love that his heading ability is nearly five, four times what his running ability is. But you know what, Ryan? We love you anyway. We've got Stephen Fletcher, of course, who incredibly is still playing. Eight natural fitness, which means he is going to drop off like an absolute rock. By the end of the season, he'll be like, everything will be below 10 at that kind of rate. With eight natural fitness at 35 years old, he's going to be... Yeah. 
Awful for Highline. You say that, but I found that it just doesn't matter that much. As long as you've got other guys around him. New Year round. Hell yes. Everyone to Vikings for New Year's. Chat, you're invited. I didn't ask him, but Mulgrew. I tell you what, right? Dundee's defense. They're really good, technically. But bugger me, are they slow. We might just have to play a one notch deeper line just to survive those guys. Oh, okay. Ugandan. Striker. Work rate 12. That's all right. Stamina's... Uh... New save. Uh, yes, it is a new save, indeed. <laughs> they can't run, but they're great. Yeah, they're great on the ball, which is exciting. Ian Hawks? Let's have a look. We can look at some loans as well. A lot of central midfielders. Ross Graham. Okay, please be faster. Okay, here we go. See, look, it's fine. It's fine. Ross Graham is going to help us. Uh, this is just beta. But beta plus a little bit more on top. While we wait for the game to hopefully fix players. <laughs> I swear. Oh, God. that's I couldn't. I'm glad you lot are around because I would not have known about that bug. Okay. Wing back right. He's not the quickest, but he'll do. Uh, Peter Paulet, which is just a fun name. Uh, I could probably play him in here. I guess they have a lot of wide people. It's quite a lot of old, wide people. <laughs> it's just such a strange sentence. Carl Johan Eriksson. Ah, goalkeeper. Nice. Reflexes. Okay. Error reach. Decent. It'll be fine, I would say. Dis oh, you can discuss new traits from in here. Saz, you absolute don. That right there might be my favorite thing about this skin so far. You can discuss new PPMs from inside their profile page. Love that. Hadn't noticed that so far. Yeah, exactly. We get to like season 20 of, um, of fucking MTK. And I'm like, all my players are still at like five attributes. Glenn Middleton. Have they got any youngs? Here we go. So they've got Kieran Freeman. Looking for the most consecutive clean sheets in this. Really? Who was that playing for? Presumably Malma, EFK. Kieran Freeman. Another Okay, so they're actually kind of stacked. Does it just me, right? Or does it feel like players have more versatility in the number of roles and positions they can play this year? I've noticed on looking at a lot of players, there's way more of this. Oh, Mielby. Really? Which the new views you talked about, so I can edit the builds into uh, new views. So obviously this is my analysis view, Saz, but I haven't actually finished adding it yet. So this is just the default one, or is it? Oh no, I hang on, I can't remember. Oh no, it actually has changed some stuff. So I have added some stuff to it. I've added like pressures completed per ninety minutes because I like pressures. I think it's important to test that. Uh, I've also got in here the open blanky passes, which is kind of sick. Actually, per shot percentage, I quite like too. Right. Oh, hang on. Any more? Let's have a look at the... Oh, is that the... Hang on. He's the um, Aussie keeper, isn't he? Oh, he's got lower... Oh, he's got really good reflexes, though. They're going to have to battle it out to see who's going to be the keeper, honestly, because he's got really good reflexes, but less aerial reach. Orange is peeled a half-time percentage. Let's just have a look at some of the real talent. So there's Matty Kudjo as well. Ghanaian winger. Wow, he's quite slow for a winger. Good dribbling, though. Could definitely use him elsewhere. I still kind of want to try this three pressing forward thing just to see how it works. We'll have to test it in a friendly first, obviously. I think I already have a... Do I have set pieces set up for this already? I can't remember. I do, yeah. It's a similar version of my other tactic. Also, my national team scouting view works. All the other views, basically, that I use in previous years just carry straight over. It's delightful. Um, I had I didn't really pay much attention to the youth and takes, honestly, Hayden. So I couldn't really say... Most seasons, yes, though, I'd say. Tom Quad with the 14 months. Thank you very much, friend. Hey, Maris. Get a bit sleepy. We'll see. I like him. Three at the backs could be really... I had three at the back last year. I, I really liked three at the back. It was probably my best tactic was the three at the back we ended up with. Right, let's go and get to this. Um, I thought they'd abbreviated that. But no. Welcome to Scotland, friends. I cannot wait for the Scottish Cup first round matches. I want to play against Bucky Thistle, damn it. Uh, we'll go through that. I've got that scout apartment set up. Let me just schedule another friendly in the meantime. I don't want to have to wait. Because there's options. Hang on. How old are you? 24. You're a wide man. We could say he's quite... Wow, he's not very expensive. We might... There's a lot of players in those areas. We could just sell Niskanen. Then if St. Mirren come back in for Niskanen... Hang on. Is he like a club legend or anything? No, he's relatively new to the team. Some Finland caps. Very wide head. Imbruri local. Yeah, exactly. And, um... Oh, what is it? Keith. Everybody loves Keith. 
I don't know how well the low block thing actually works, honestly. I tried it. Um, we did a draft mode when we were down at SI. Like, a, all of us did a giant draft mode. And I tried to play a low block against, um, I think it was Hood. And I got absolutely twatted in the first half switch to the tactic i'm using here and beat him it was like it was very bizarre but again that was a while ago hey Emu, short corners don't work they just don't take a short corner it, no that would be silly you're probably right though right civil service strollers that's a quality one one of these days we're gonna actually have to look through um Arda Gula from Fedebache. Is that because he's a realistic signing or is this just a standard you should look up this player because he plays for the team that i support kind of situation <laughs> please advise right let me set our friendly up uh, but if it is that, then we actually do have a look-up thing, so you can look him up if you want to. Uh, multiple friendlies. Yeah, we'll have two friendlies. I'm not going to overdo it with the friendlies here. I want to just test this. We'll do a bit of nearby teams, because that way they're crap. Oh, hang on. What have we got? Uh, well, let's play against the university, because they're going to be dreadful in before they beat us. And I'm feeling a bit of clay pots. I do love a bit of clay pots. What can I say? They're, hot, they're useful for holding things. Now, where'd you go at Manchester City? Oh, what's his name? Horlig Erlegund, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Burgess and Shipwells is great as well, yeah. Sharp BR. Thank you very much for the 12 months, my friend. On UFM? I can't really... I haven't played enough of it as, like, a player player to really have a proper informed opinion on it yet, honestly. Uh, I should probably talk to Niskin, shouldn't I? Long-term YouTube save. Uh, Blue Star. Newcastle Blue Star, that is. Pulisic banter. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, look, chat. We're in the 21st century now. My man's rocking Windows 95. What's that? Is that Spotify? Is it rocking on there? That's just a big red button. I don't know what's going on here. Um, You know what? Fuck it. If he wants to leave, that's fine. We'll replace him with Regan Booty. Speaking of Regan Booty, by the way. Have they actually responded to me yet? Or have I not progressed the day? Yeah, that four by three. Would you expect them to come up with like an ultra wide in there? Offers made for Patterson. Uh, scouting introduction. No, thank you. I know how to scout. Oh, wait, hang on. He's our coach. Uh, Wait. He's not our coach. Wait, what? Wait, why are they telling me when he's not our... Oh, my shitting balls. Okay. Um. Sharp BR with the 10 gifted subs. Holy crap. Uh, thank you so much, my friend. That's unbelievable. I made an offer? Did I? When? When did I make an offer? It must be oh, my background stuff. Where I parked my car. It's the DOF doing. Oh, it's probably my DOF. I think I delegated some staff stuff to the DOF. Uh, human meme sources. Good name. Thank you so much for the follow. But seriously, Christ. Uh, holy shit. Sharp. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. That's super. Duper nice of you. Uh, far nicer than I deserve, but thank you so much. Do your bullshit. I, you know what? Yeah, I'm always saying bullshit instead of bullshit. That's what it is. It's cheeky like that. Uh, we'll just include all the youth prospectors because we do have some really solid youth players. Even like some um, regen guys. Cleal Harley. Sorry, Cleal Harley. Oh, hang on, hang on. Emergency backup. Is he just like not good? Because I'm... I just don't believe that he's not good. Look at his attributes. I think just no. I'm signing Regan Booty regardless because it's Regan Booty. I realise that obviously we're a Scottish Premiership side, but still. The league started yet? I don't think so. Wh which league? Vinicius Ja. <laughs> Never heard of him, Zagor. <laughs> what league does he play in? Emergency. I mean, if Regan Booty wants to be an emergency backup, then he can be. He still wants quite a lot of money. Actually, I don't know what the wage structure's like here, to be fair. So. Oh, it's fine. Because we can just. Oh, actually, we're fine then. Slap him with a five year. Knock that down to like a foul. Yeah, 795. There, I thought you'd like that, Regan. This is where Regan Booty's like, actually, my friend, I'm from Barbados. And I'm like, shit. Colm Whe Oh, Colm Whelan. Was he the guy that plays for UCD? Or am I thinking of someone else? Yes. We'll get a scout report on him. Oh, wait. What's he... What's he... I hate to be a downer, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to sign for us at the current point. That sucks. 9 to 11 months. 
Durian Timber. I do you reckon he'd sign for Dundee United? Yeah, he might just fail the old medical. They they've gone with the he's broken his spine chat method. Jaden Heskey, is he related to um Emil Heskey? I'm guessing this is the reason we're looking him up. Let's get a scout report. Maybe a loan. I don't know if he's actually good enough for that. Um, given what we can see. He actually is. That's kind of sick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fork out money for Holland. I'll tell you what, if we all club together, um, we can maybe do this. What well, that was just immediate, wasn't it? I might I feel like I'm about to feel real silly here, but he just looks better than Am I missing something? His attributes are really solid. Maybe it's just that he's shit compared to everyone else in our midfield. Yeah, he's not actually although he's not even a central midfield, although he can play there. He's solid. It's solid booty. Though we do have Dylan Levitt. I mean, he's no Dylan Levitt, is he? Let's be honest. I think it's just he is very well-rounded, yeah. Sutalo. Is he the guy at um, Dino Zagreb? Because if so, yes. Correct. <laughs> just e emphatic yes. Also, um, big fan of this down here. Booty training. <laughs> That's just squats. Lots and lots of squats. Oh, dear. Oh, well, he's in now. There we go. First signing happened. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, let's just check these. Uh, let's check out. Oh, not Dundee United. Let's check out Rocco Vata. What about the booty report? Oh, you don't want the booty report. Oh, he doesn't. That's because I've spelled his name wrong. There he is. Celtic striker under. Actually, he could be good for a loan. Oh, I can scout him on there, interestingly. Couldn't have called John again. <laughs> Indeed. I reckon Booty will still get some game time. Although I do really want to try. I'm very curious to see how this system is going to work in this game now. Every day people go back. Exactly. It's fine. He's Irish. Even better. Right. Let's uh, just do a selection advice for now. See if we can actually fit enough players. Do we even have enough strikers? Probably not. McEachern. You have six tackling, sir. Do they not have like a midfielder that can tackle? Of course they do. It's Regan Booty. He's got. Yeah. Booty's got enough. He's got right. We can try that. I'll have a look at some loans in a second. Box to box instead of RPM. Um, given this, I don't know how much I want him boxing to box at this point. It could be the scouting range, honestly, yeah. I just want to try this out and see if it works. The last thing we need is another player leaving Regan Booty to handle the entire midfield by himself at this point. RPMs. Where was it we had an RPM? Was it on the last save we used an R Yeah, on the last save, I actually used an RPM in the DM role, and it was outrageous. Youth national teams. So, weird thing. I don't know if you noticed this. When you start a save, it might only be an, um, an FM23 tw thing, right? But there's basically, there aren't any. So, you have to wait until the first international break. And even then, it still seems to be a bit bored. So, if I go to, like, Norway, their under-19 side will be like, oh, okay. Weird. Last time I looked, it was blank. Miggy Ramos was great, exactly, yeah. We'll try this, see where it goes. I'm just curious to see if this is going to be as successful as I think it might be. Uh, we've already got set pieces. I'll do opposition instructions. Oh, never mind. I won't do opposition instructions. And now... And now, the big test. Can the PC handle FM23 at the graphics settings that I have chosen? If not, we'll just switch to the ones we used last time. Moment of truth, friends. Uh, this is... Oh, it's the same menu. It's just slightly different. Got to keep an eye on that left on my screen. Oh, yeah. I love the ticket thing here. That's kind of sick. With the emission and everything. Uh, that's kind of nice, too. Right. I've not seen any shit so far. Wow, they might have actually fixed it. Uh, the players don't like me at all yet. Go on. Somebody react. Nobody's reacted. <laughs> no one at all. Lord, Lord, thank you so much for the brand new Prime. That's very kind of you, my friend. My views, anyway. Yes. Uh, which view are you looking for in particular, Victimize? Because I have a lot of them. Uh, chat, I think they might have actually fixed FM23. What What the fucking hell? Sorry, one second. Let me just climb, climb down from space. There we go. But do you, do you remember? It was some kind of... One of the patches last year basically made it... For whatever reason, it did not agree with my graphics card. And we had to use the graphics settings much lower for some reason. This is still on high. The only thing I've changed down is the crowd is on medium. Everything else, and it's smooth as silk. That's weird. 
Final use. So I have an analysis for you on which I haven't got available. To, well, I do have it available to download, but annoyingly, it's on the workshop under FM21, which means it's a bastard for you to download. But I'll get back to that. It's going to be a penalty for us inside 20 seconds. Oh, it's a 970, so it's an old card. But if you want my um, scouting ones, I've got F exclamation mark filters, which should give you those. I'll, I'll find some filters in a second. What well, filters? Features in a second. I like that too. I don't know if that's part of the game or not, or if it's part of the skin, but I do like that. Default cam settings. Oh, no. These are not default. Oh, you mean for the ones that popped up? Yeah, they were a bit weird, weren't they? I haven't... I don't know what I've touched on this, he says. We'll have a look afterwards. Part of the skin is nice. Um, I don't know if RDS released ones for this year. Do they work from last year? Because if they do, I'll just re-import them. But I, I will get to that for sure. But I'm just using, like, default stuff for the moment. Go on, slipping through. Here we go. Jerome's in. Is that going to be another... <laughs> well, then. Level graphics is such that... Yeah, it's... I was honestly not far off of having to build a new computer. Okay, so McGrath from the spot. He'll miss this one, though, because it's... A... No, he won't. Okay, it's 2-0 up inside five minutes. <laughs> okay. We don't need to score goals. We're Pendy United. It's fine. <laughs> hey, Jatrix. He's just going to... What do you reckon? A hat-trick of pens from McGrath? This isn't really telling me much about our um, quality in this game, is it really? Yes, I'm liking the Sunday streams. Uh, yeah, we have got European games. We're in the Conference League, I believe. Um, which is I did a little brief test save with Dundee. Uh, why is the Touchline tablet not appearing in between highlights? Because that's really important. That was that. Why is that? That's weird. The touch. Have I pressed the wrong button or something? Because the touchline tablet was not appearing in between the highlights. Click the button. Wait, but shouldn't it appear automatically? Because if I click the button, it appears over the game. Uh, shouldn't it automatically pop up when we're not in a highlight? Because if so, that's going to be something I might not have to... Oh, so, right, I can watch McGrath through, and it's three. Let me test. So if I just click it once when we're, in, we're not in a highlight, then it will just do it automatically. That's fine. Cool. Newcastle's up. Yeah, they did win the Premier League with it after like five seasons on one of the Sims I did, which is a bit concerning. Right, so if I do it here. But shouldn't that be there? And then. No, that's not that's not right. Because you can't have that. It should automatically appear in between the highlights, no? Or if I click the wrong button somehow. Or is it in here? No, no, it's definitely the skin. It's just that it was doing this fine. On the older version of the skin, it was fine, but I can't have it so that I can't see. Yeah. Because it should just pop up automatically in between. Charge the tablet. Click score one in a highlight. Um, out console. I don't actually know, Harps. Um, I've never played FM on a console, so I could not possibly tell you, but chat, thoughts? Well, it seems okay so far. Um, but obviously, is it only on PC? That's interesting, actually. I didn't know that. Play a bit of hoofball. That's fine. Lower the zoom tonight. Ooh, it could be. Yeah, because I swear I played it last year. Go on. Nice. Headers look good. Uh, I think you can, Tig. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Like, I've imported most view-related things, and it seems to be fine. Superior automatically for you. Yeah, but are you using this skin, Andy? Yeah, that should that's weird. Because it shouldn't require you to... Because, yeah. But one thing I would say, when it's working properly, by the way, it even has things like passing networks and analysis on the touchline tablet like that, which I think is fucking amazing. Uh, if we could just get it to appear properly, that'd be amazing. But, like, it adds so much cool stuff. Because I feel like they've been hiding a lot of the analysis stuff. Yeah, if you're using this skin and you're using it on 100%, it could be that. Maybe it's maybe that's the issue for me. I haven't tried um, Kit Basher yet. Oh, look at the ball bounced up there. I quite like that. Tony Watt, and it's off the post. Headers do be seeming powerful. Oh, you are using the skin. Huh. Hmm. Maybe there's an interface setting. Let's just look in here a second. Wait, you can do this in in game? Right 
We are, but it's just good to see that it's working tactically. Oh, by the way, those are the settings I'm using. So you can see that it really is massively improved. Yeah. Show we choice between highlights. Yeah. Ah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, shit. This is where the game crashes. Chat. I'd like to point out what we just did there. Um, <laughs> I just reloaded the skin in the middle of a match and it hasn't crashed the game. So genuinely, that actually does point quite good towards stabilities there. Yeah, I think that's... It's weird that that wasn't on my default. To be fair, I've never actually ever done that. So for all I know, it doesn't actually crash normally, but that is kind of mad. Love that from Levitt. Just getting straight in there. Okay, he's getting in the way a little bit. I honestly wonder if we actually need the AM. The the AM. I feel like he's going to get in the way a little bit too much with some of the progressive passing. And maybe having a third centre mid could actually... Disappointed they didn't crash. I'm just so used to it, Crash, John. I I'm prepared for disappointment at almost all solutions. Oh, good better yeah or it just has crashed and we're all there we go that's more like it mcgrath took both the penalties though so it's hard to say but look at that i love the fact that you can see the passing networks and shit like this just straight off this bat without any kind of silly nonsense i love it so much obviously once we're in a we can change that around once we get to other menus trying to keep the ball it really does yeah and winning the ball i feel like for me a lot of your goals seem to be scored from winning the ball high up the pitch so we could always drop him back from AM to a CMA, potentially. Uh, the skin is the new Saz skin. Uh, if you do exclamation mark skin, Masson, you'll find the link. Go on, bang one. Oh, I've also heard that long shots are quite overpowered. <laughs> Sorry, Saz, that's on me, buddy. Uh, yes, he is here. I think he's... What position does he play? Because he might not feature much if he's a wide player, unless he's a defender. Nice. Oh, McGrath got into a good position there. The skin mods. Oh, there's so many things that you could do with the skin. As is, as Saz is proving with this skin. It's... I thought we were going to get another penalty there. What, again? Oh, oh wow. All right, that goalkeeping animation was actually sick. That was kind of sick. Taking some requests. Uh, no, because we can't do the copyright music at the moment still. Because um, the update that I wanted to do to, to, uh, to OBS will break certain parts of my stream at the moment because there's certain plugins that haven't been updated to work with the newer version of OBS yet. Stream effects is the one, basically. If stream effects gets updated to properly work with OBS 28, then it'll be fine. So I'm giving it an extra couple of weeks during the beta. Sinclair's through. Lovely finish. Oh, nice. Okay, good. Now we should play against a better side. Oh, hello. It's blue. We're in complete control. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. It does seem that long shots have always been a beta problem. Yeah. Trying to go back to... Yeah, no, we're going back to copyright music again. It's just a question of... Basically, the newest OBS option allows you to isolate each individual application's sound, which means I can send Spotify to a different audio track. Kind of like what a lot of the streamers do using voice meter. Uh, that's a nice finish from Jerome Sinclair. I'm liking him so far. Yeah, I think that might be a glitch. That, By the way, that's not because of Saz's skin. It was doing that when I played it a few weeks ago. I feel like I'm allowed to say that now because it should be pretty obvious that, yeah. That we weren't just down there to <laughs> to dick about and get drunk. Mostly that. <laughs> Mostly that. Isn't this still copyright? It's just license. I suppose. You know what I mean. It's still copyright free, I suppose. Actually, to be fair, this is... Um, the Harris Heller stuff is just... So Harris Heller's stream beats have been a lifesaver. I probably need to update this at some point. Massive prick on football cliche. Oh, God. I'm glad you mentioned that, right? They bring on some weird guests sometimes, I must admit. Like, I always skip on if they've ever got anyone politics related on there. Or just... It was clearly he was there to promote his book. And he just... Yeah. Was not a fan of him on cliches. At all. This is some nice build-up play we're actually got going. Obviously, this is not really that relevant for us. But what I would say is, I still feel like you can actually still get a decent amount of data, even from games against poor sides like this. Because I've had a lot of tactical styles where I've tried them, and we come into a game like this, and you'd score, like, 
three goals, create a decent amount of XG. We're eight nil up in the first half. It still would suggest to me that there is something to what we're doing here, but I still think that that CMA in the second half might work a bit better for what we're doing. He looks a bit offside there, honestly. Alex Goodyear FM, thank you for the follow. We're having a lovely Sunday morning. But a second half, I'll switch the tactics slightly. Although McGrath is on a 10. So how much I want to do that, I don't know. Oh, there you go. Corner goal. It's 9-0 in the first half. I'm sorry, Dundee Uni. See, we're Dundee United. They're Dundee Uni. They just need a TD and they'll be fine. Good. If we could just get to half time so I can actually change the skin. So McGrath got a hat trick and an assist. The clear cut chances thing is still irrelevant at this point. Okay. That's their university. Uni Alonso. <laughs> also, I've just realized that even saying that out loud, I also spelled United wrong. Right, let's try this slight change. Uh, it's clear-cut chances, but it's basically, as far as I know, it's probably just as meaningless as it was last year. So, my slight tweak. Because technically they're DMs. So if I put him as a CMA here, it will give us a little bit more cover, but also allow him to still do what he was doing, but just with a slightly lower starting position. Curious to see how he does in the second half. Polish Shoe Company. I remember them. Yeah, clear-cut chances is totally dumb because basically it was a case of... Oh, I like that. It... Last year, if a player completed a header from a corner, that was a clear-cut chance and that was seemed to be the only way to generate them, basically. That's a lovely ball. Go on, Jerome. Lovely fit. Hey, look. Have you noticed how the one-on-ones seem to be... Fixed. Mm. Good shout, Comrade. Right? Yeah, let's get someone else in that same position so he's not just going to be um, boosted by the ratings. Should we try Grant Ward since he's a lone E? Sorry, not a lone E, a tri -lee. My lounger eating leftover pizza for brunch. You lovely, lovely man. I had a bit of dirty pizza last night. It was delicious. It feels like goalkeepers are now more... Like, he's put this in a good spot. The keeper tries to save it because he goes you for that... There's a um, train coming what's it called? The, like, oh, K yeah, very soon. thingy. Yeah, fat Gaz! It's not. Thank you for the follow. Whenever I think of Fat Gaz, all I can think of is that episode of Two Pints of Lager and a Packet of Crisps. I suppose, yeah. I'm loaning him from himself. Out of the mention leagues, I don't actually know. Go on. Bo oh, Regan Booty. Bet oh, cheeky. Keepers look more natural. Defenders will still be brain dead, which is what... Look at that touch. It's touches like that that make me think that the type of football I want to play is going to be super powerful because it re it takes advantage of touches exactly like... Look at the football! <laughs> oh, we are sensual. Against Dundee Uni. Dundee Uni. I like it. Hungary is 5 from 12. 12 subs in Hungary. Love that. That was just a nicely worked goal. 32 shots, 17 on target. What's our OP? Look at the OPP. Oh, by the way, OPPDA. You obviously, those of you who might not have looked at this yet. If you go into customize, there's a load of new, quite useful uh, stats that you can have in here, like non-penalty XG, final third passes, this progressive passes, but also OPPDA as well, which I really like to see that in the game. One of the first things I noticed when I got into a match, I literally, I turned next to me and said to Luke, I was like, Luke, there's OPPDA, and he was like. All right, Matt, calm down. Uh, OPPDA is opposition passes per defensive action. So basically, how long it's taking you to win the uh, ball off your opponent. So a high pressing style, if you're executing it properly, will have a very low OPPDA, basically. Overtly perverted public displays of affection. It's that as well. All right. Another call goal. Good. Non-penalty XD as well, yeah. We three rejoicing. I like it a bit. You know I like me some statistics. I might actually get to do coffee and data for uh, Blue Star. Yeah, if it's, tw if it's what's 5 from 12 in Hungary, that'd be kind of de decent, actually. How's uh, my man Ward getting on? 7.4 already. We'll check his, like, actual output in a bit. It's going okay, Zok Zokta Dombeycraft. We're just testing out a... Uh, a tactical idea against a, well, bunch of scrubs, quite literally. Oh, what a ball from Booty, nearly. 
if th this is on key highlights, remember, chat. Oh, Anaku, lovely finish again. Well, to be fair, this is probably more fans than you'd still get for a friendly between Dundee United and Dundee Uni. You know? But still, 13 0. I probably should make some other subs, actually, while we're here because we're only in pre season. Jerome Sinclair do be looking good, though. I should. Good, 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 good. Grant Water stepped in nicely. Let's get Booty out for a bit and bring in Charlie Mulgrew. Wait, actually, let's get McEachern in. Because technically he is a DM, so that means he's probably got okay tackling, right? Nope. He was the guy they wanted to put there at first, wasn't he? Let's also get Stephen Fletcher in for Anaku. And. Because he's old. Who's that really good defender? Oh, he's already in. Actually, Meekinson's good, isn't he? Let's get Meekinson in for. Oh, we can only play there. I don't really want to do that right now. I keep forgetting they're not uh, DMs. Uh, get Hart. No, he's not that either. Wait, hang on. What? Hey. Oh, he's, again, he's not a DM. Right, Mulgrew is a DM. Let's get him off for of Levitt, even though Levitt is really good. What's Niskanen got for it? Niskanen, we might end up selling him. <laughs> Actually, let's get Niskanen in. Wait, is he a centre mid? Where can Niskanen even play? Ah, everywhere. We'll bring him on for Freeman, even though technically he's not right for it. He'll, he'll be fine. Actually, I'll show you the support profile in a sec. Like an ice hockey sim. I must admit, some of the inf animations do look a bit funky to me. Uh, it's taken some time to get used to, more than anything else. St oh, look at that! Strikers passing to each other when they're through on goal. I like that. Have you landed on this terrible team? I'm so sorry, Gaz. But also, aren't, in, aren't Dundee in the second tier? <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm getting up to date with the Scottish banter, right? Give me a shot. <laughs> Okai and all that. Quick, so Tony wanted. He's actually done okay today. I mean, admittedly, we are playing against Dundee Uni, so, you know. Yellow guy with the five months. How's it going? Thank you so much for that. I'm pleased to announce my new one month contract extension at CCFC, the most okayest football club to be signed to. It's, this is very true. Hey, look, chat. It's Ireland. He's up front here. Um, He's about to get tackled and lose the ball, I suspect. Is it actually an insult in Nigeria? That feels like one of those things that either you're trying to mess with me or that's genuinely the case. If so, please do elaborate. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I still remember the Tony Watt goal against Barcelona. Every time I hear about it, we, Tony Watt comes up, I always talk about that random stream I did with Tony Watt all those years ago. He seemed like a nice enough dude. Yeah, crack on, hi racer. Abel with the hundred bit scorn. Sinclair score another one for Abel. It's fifteen. Scotland for the oldest team. I've been bullied into it. What can I say? So, obviously, I can't read the full article, but is it like a TLDR? Love this. Okay. Every highlight is just... Mm. I might insta the next one, and then we can play against a slightly better side. Or I could just cancel the friendly and schedule one against, like, a... Maybe an SPL side. That'd be kind of good. But remember as well, this is without full squad fitness. As well, what slips it through? Ward is in. Oh, yes, lovely. Okay. Interesting. He still made the run, but it feels like he's been better in the build-ups now. Why don't you do Ireland? <laughs> hey, you got your name in the intro... And now, now this. I don't stand for this kind of disrespect. I sit. Okay. I'm going to start skipping these, I think. I'm okay with 7xG, nearly. Torchak is Turkish slang for major. <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> That's a W from Turkey there. Yeah, oil up, Shannon. Oh, Dundee and I... Oh, Dundee Uni could end up being the Shannon of this save. I believe we already found the Shannon of... I love how the XG match story is just utterly broken. <laughs> it's just like, what do you want me to do, bruv? You've scored 16 goals. You don't need me for analysis. 6.99. Nice. What just... Oh, they had to ruin it, didn't they? Score has literally doubled. In a normal game, that would no, not be that difficult, but it is 17 now with Grant Ward scoring another one. How's he got on? That's going to be offside, isn't it? Yes. Praising Gideon. Well, the eighth... MCK intro is going to be a lot more straightforward than this one. I thought this one would just be a bit of fun to mess around with. So 16-0. Um, where was Ward? How did he do off the bench? 8.1. Now, 
bear in mind that obviously McGrath got the 10, but he did score two penalties in the first four minutes of the game. We'll try it with the CMA from the start next game. See how it goes. And leave beat the freshers. That's the thing. They're all hung over. Let's, uh, you know, what, actually, we'll just copy that one over. Drop him back there. CMA. Just default instructions. No silly business. Why has he got... Oh, because he's on trial. Right, that makes sense. No, mate. Serious, <laughs> Imagine. Right. So, Claypot... Do I want to play Claypots next? Or do we want to play someone a bit better? Like, Espanol. Can I, like, get rid of the Claypots game? And maybe schedule a friendly against... Actually, no. I'll keep the Claypots game. Because I want to see how this performs over a full 90 minutes. Against a similar quality side. We could always skip it if we need to. Pretty good discipline. That's particularly as we're on get stuck in. Um, I should stress that I... One of the things I noticed is that with the press being so aggressive, it doesn't actually have get stuck... Wait, what? Stay on feet is on... A st what? Hang on. Did that change? Huh. Interesting. I might have accidentally clicked stay on feet and it seems to have we may have to revert that but interesting she was showed out in four hours <laughs> ah here we go niskanen he wants to go to motherwell he's gonna he's not gonna extend his contract but they're all non-negotiable bids i mean i guess we've got no choice but to accept really because otherwise he's gonna leave for free anyway which is very annoying I like that it actually shows the recruitment meeting there, even though I am going to skip it, of course. Recruitment meeting. Uh, meeting agenda. Squad planner. Plan the squad. It's like, do you want to plan the squad? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm actually all right with that one. I'm still curious to see how my recruitment focus is going to be. Uh, SBL Reserve Cup. Oh, no, not Scott. How's the how's my focus going? Two impro... Two. What I might do, actually, is create a new recruitment focus that's just for loans and for any position within the tactic. Scouts don't have the capacity to take any further top scouting program. That's fine. I wasn't going to do that anyway. Uh, I want loans. Ah, oh, well, that's a bit too much. A bit high. Oh, wait, actually, I want... Yeah, we'll do loans for any position, but ideally some... Uh... I'm going to spend a lot of time this week trying to optimize this exact screen. Areas. We'll leave it on any for now. Because I do wonder if there's going to be a way that, like, if having it too vague will reduce reduce the results, but then also having it too specific will reduce the results. I want to find out what the middle ground is. Pressy, pressy's complete for 90 minutes. Uh, it's the, hang on, let me have a look. It is the, it's pressure's completed for 90 minutes because I felt that that was a more important metric as far as success rather than the number of them attempted. Because one would attribute to work rate, whereas the other one attributes to, like, uh, What's the word looking for? Accomplishment, I guess. Well, the Tour of West Africa were absolute dog shit. They lost to amateur teams. Wow. An insult was born in Tundee. That's amazing. Okay. George Patterson to Joy Lewis. That's fine. We didn't care that. Sack yet. Not surprisingly, no, Rob. Incredibly. Give it time. Clay Potts will absolutely twat us, and then it'll all be fine. I would like to bring in a couple of freebies. In fact, who was the other striker? I like Jerome Sinclair. I actually quite like Sinclair. The question is whether he'd want to sign for us, but or could we do better? Oh, hang on. Okay, so they're all non-negotiable, damn it. Aha! Right, here we go. Firstly, I need a PP, but once the PP has been achieved i'll be back and we'll have a look through some of these scout reports because holy shit there's some good players in there um back in a second scott in scotland related puns we couldn't possibly not do scotland related puns i'll be back in a sec friends uh with my butt
Borussia Munchness Gladback. You had to, didn't you? Someone had to. Oh, right. Oh, one thing I just want to quickly show you. This is more uh, credits. Oh, God. Uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Look, look at the bottom. To Chloe, thank you for your continuous love and support. To Mum and Robin, thank you both for all that you do for me. To Matt, thank you for getting for me started on this journey. Chat, do you know who Matt is? Do you know who Matt is? Matt is me. I am Matt. <laughs> I'm, that's the closest I'm ever going to get. Closest I'm ever going to get to being in the game. <laughs> but the Zagreb's in the Discord. Uh, how do you mean? It's actually for Viking. <laughs> Oh, God. Right, okay, well, how do we even filter this right at the moment? God. Uh, right. Oh, oh, he's a mess. Okay, here we go. Rodrigo Contreras. Poacher. Work rate's quite low. What are you like as a pressing forward? Also, you're very expensive. Actually, would he be that expensive? Could we even afford him? <laughs> I'm Matt, so is my wife. <laughs> Let's screenshots of the same. Uh, not really. I was just digging about some stuff. Okay, cool. Not prepared to sell mid-season. Injury prone. Okay. Mm. Just, yeah. What about Francisco de Fre Oh, he's on loan. From Denis. De really? Okay, wow. He's free. Is he? He's free. I'll approach the sign. Oh, okay, yeah. It's best to discuss players' demands with an agent first in order to determine the... I mean, is it though? Because... All right, cool. Um, wait, you have to go in here now to do that. So, not only is the agent thing now being forced on you a lot more, but now it's hidden behind a separate menu for no reason. Good, thanks for that, FM. Hey, we've got this brand new feature that we desperately want you to use more than last year. It's certain contrary. It's definitely not. Usually, it was on this screen here. This is where it was before, but now you actually have to go into this screen and stop making things harder to find. Like, why add more clicks on contract details? What am I looking for on contract details? That's really weird. Skin thing? Surely it can't be a skin thing. Why would the skin change that? Oh, so it's... Hang on, let me just have a look at a contracted player. Uh, no. The skin can't change that. That's bizarre. Let me just find a random guy. Yeah, I'm... Not seeing it at all. And it, Yeah, the skin can't change that. Is that Brit Somber Longer? Ooh, hang on a minute. Come back to him. Let's have a look at the freebies first. Uh, you're already... <gasps> ah! Chat! Right, this is a good test for something. A bug that's pissed me off for so many seasons. So this is Uros Spajic, right? He's under a bid from these clubs. Right? Let's do this test. You know what's a... you all know what I'm about to say. So one of the most annoying things about FM for the last few seasons has been... If a player is a free agent... And... They're under a bid and you try to trial them. They immediately sign for one of the other clubs. Just instantly. So let's see if this is still in the game. And if it is, then I'm just be like, what are you doing? So let's test this, shall we? Because that was the case last year and the year before. Uh, let's just try. I think what we should do. Let's just like trial any of these guys, basically. Because why the hell not at this point? Uh, we'll trial those guys. Um, I do like that it tells you which recruitment focus it's actually from, which is kind of sick. Even if it does appear that... More features will be out when it's fully out. No, so basically, Drew, the reason you do it, or the reason we do it anyway, as a content creator standpoint, and as a player, honestly, is because the beta has a lot of bugs, generally speaking, as does the full game a lot of the time too. But generally speaking, the beta is full of bugs that if you were to start your main save, might not be able to be fixed to be applied to that save. So if you start like a beta save, then you get a chance for the game to get less broken upon the full release. And then hopefully your save will be more enjoyable and you'll find less bugs. It's not always the case, 
but that's the thinking behind it essentially didn't work out for me last year uh, as i started my save on the full game's full release and it still had loads of bugs <laughs> but there you go you know which club you'll join oh is there a bug for that as well it has to be puma surely this bug is still there oh good okay excellent less broken yeah that's all you can really ask for i'll tell you what right though this screen is super annoying now because i no longer know how well scouted any of these players are do you know what i mean like these things no longer as far as i know unless this is just them telling me about that they're fully scouted it might be extensive knowledge can't you add knowledge these menus are not addable you can't like adjust them like what the fuck is the point of a scouting report screen where you can't tell people you can't tell how scouted a player is there's no percentage but at least it should tell me um no it's the skin is it though because i thought the whole point of the skin was to add that in oh wait so it is the skin Yeah, I'm going to need that. I'm definitely going to need um, scouting knowledge in here in some manner, even if it's just the words, because the words still just relate to percentages. They're just more vague about it. Extensive knowledge is basically for... I actually don't know, uh, White Mamba. I assume it basically is. Yeah, obviously the skin adds some stuff, but I just thought that that would be sort of a base thing to have. Because, yeah, you need to be able to see the knowledge level. Otherwise, it's that screen becomes useless. And then this one then has less information. Because, look, you can see... So they are actually all extensive as it goes. Ah, <coughs> oh, dear. Because you can see all in here. They actually are... So we know that they're all fully scouted, basically. As far as fully scouted is in this game, anyway. So we'll just... Uh, we already clicked that. Why is that? Oh, it's because I did it from the other menu. Oh. This One thing I really do car. like, though, is the ability to add players to the discard list for a set amount of time. That's going to be super useful. Now, they remove the percentage, but they still have numbers. So they still have, like, words that basically collate to... There's five different words, and each one is kind of like a 20% step from what I can work out. Drew OD, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I've known of the USA. It's like that old Bruce Springsteen song. Known in the USA. This is just going to make... I feel like to me this is just going to make scouting not harder, but more tedious for seemingly no reason. Actually use a squad planner. No. Um, it doesn't offer me anything that I need to do. So no. Um, I've yet to find any reason to use it. I'm sure that some, people do seem excited about it though. So clearly it has a purpose for some people. I'm just not one of them. So the discard list basically stops them from getting reports for that player for the most part. It, unless you manually request it. Your scouts will then not recommend that player to you. Uh, but the reason that I found it last year was a bit of a pain is because if you added a player to the discard list, if you then offered a scout report out for that player yourself manually, you were then unable to discard the player from your scout reports. Whereas now, if you put it on a timer, I can set them all to six months, which means for the following year, we won't have that problem. And that's going to be a really nice step when we do our proper scouting method. So I really like that feature. Big fan of that. Uh, have I missed some lookups today? I feel like I might have done. Uh, oh, we did a few, but I missed the uh, Dundee United youth teams. Yeah, this guy, this is actually super duper important. Let's uh, go to the Dev Center. Recruitment focus list. Oh, surely not. That just seems broken. Oh, wait. Oh, this is. Wait, what? It's. July in the first season and it's got like a youth intake. Hmm, okay. I mean, this was the guy that I was showing you before. It's just weird that it actually shows us like a youth intake, whereas normally it doesn't. That injury prone consistency issues do concern me a little bit, but it's only orange. Oh, yeah, I know. I've just never actually seen it do that before. But then I've only really started like three saves in the last year. <laughs> so that's probably part of it. They've got some solid guys. There's John Heron here. 13 jumping reach. Uh, tackling's alright, actually does normally i don't remember but then maybe i've just never looked it's a pretty good youth intake honestly look at that i'll take that and we got a pole in there adrian v jack who wow he's not even half bad 
Mass discard for someone that cannot discard one player. You have to go through it manually. Yeah. So, yeah. That's one of the things that hopefully that thing with the discard list is actually now going to stop from happening, I suppose. So I'm just finding little bits. Basically, I always like to look for things that were broken on FM22 and so forth and then see if they're still broken. Because if they are, why? I think at that point, it's reasonable to be able to ask why. But anyway, let's do that test. Although we already know what's about to happen. So there's no point in re-scouting any of these guys because they're already fully scouted. It's just a question of what do we do with them. Um, he's decent, but... God. Max wage demands. That's quite a lot, actually. He's quite cheap. He's a striker as well, Josh O'Connor. Work rate's 13. He's young with high enough potential. Unemployed staff still want higher wages. Good question. As far as I can tell, Strongo, yes. When I tested it, it does still work. I updated the video title to reflect that as well. What about Josh O'Connor? Scottish youngster. Plays for Hibs. Solid attributes overall. Good work, goodish work rate too, which we cut the off the ball is a bit of a concern. And the anticipation being quite low worries me a little bit, but. He's very cheap. Since we know all these guys are actually fully scouted, we might as well just sort it by this. What about Fitzwater here? Hmm. I do quite like this guy. Doesn't like big matches, which is a pain, but he is very brave, got high consistency. We kind of need a centre-back that isn't going to be super slow. <laughs> Trying to make it an old agent. I dare, just in case, right? You don't want to risk it too much. 6-2. Okay, jumping reach. High bravery. I quite like this guy, actually. Depends what his wages would be like, though. That's the question. What are we looking at? 2.2. I can afford that. Nikolai! Great to have you months. back. Have you applied the name Fixfill? Or are you waiting until after the beta? And what logo pack are you using? So, yes. I've got the name fixes in. I'm using TCM logos and DF11 face packs, and they're brand new. I really need the spaghetti. Budgets are okay. Like, we've got 1.3 million. Obviously, we're in negative wage budget, so I'll have to bring that down a little bit. We can definitely afford him. Provided they don't want 800k. Let's see if I can ask his agent. No. Right. Do it in here then, I guess. Okay, so that tells us nothing. Uh, let's see. So this is one thing that you can do. And I messed around with this a little bit before. Name fix file. Uh, it's the FM Scout one. My recruitment focus. I've only just set it, to be fair. So I don't think most of that is actually from that. Add the knowledge column to view, but, but which view? Because you can't add that column, as far as I know. Which which page are you doing that? Uh, On the Pope. Cooper, take off the Pope hat. Let's see. Let's see if I can just. I'm the Pope. Cooper, Water down his wage demands. So, so that's useless then. Still seen anything. Wait, hang on. Sorry. Must convey that I cannot agree to the updated ones as they stamp. Hang on. So I have two options. Piss him off or piss him off. <sighs> Tricky and patar. Thank you for the follows, guys. That's very kind of you. Welcome in. Hang on. So basically, this seems like a thing you could never use properly then. So it's another feature that's come in that just doesn't add anything. It just makes it harder for you to actually sign players. Cool. Maybe it's just this one scenario. But that is a little bit annoying. Let's just try and sign them anyway. Oh, no. It's not the fact that you can't walk away. It's the fact that if they just go, no, then what's the point in it existing? Or is it just because certain agents are just going to do that, I suppose? Maybe it's just a bad sample. We'll try it again with the next one. It might just be that that one agent was just a wanker, to be fair. Yeah, why isn't there an option that says, okay, we'll take this into consideration. We'll move. I, you'd like to think so, Rob. Yeah. But certain agents maybe have low patience as well, which might affect it as well. Oh, no, bear in mind, I've tested this before. When I was looking at it before, it definitely does reduce their demands. But you have to get the right agent. Right, let's try 200k. What, really? That's like 20 grand. All right, give me 250. Two, uh, 250. 245. That's not bad. That's actually lower 
the, the lowest end of his asking price. Like, I'll pay his wages at that level. Uh, I guess we'll submit the offer for Jack Fitzwater. Who else do I want? I wouldn't mind an extra ball in a midfielder, actually. Someone like Steven Devale. But he might be quite expensive. Love that natural fitness. Let me just look at strikers. Because we kind of want more strikers. He's a poacher. I want a striker that's got good work rate. If we could find one, anyway. Although Britta Ah, Britta Sombolonga. Hang on. Britta Sombolonga is only 29 years old. That seems absolutely mad to me that Britta Sombolonga is only 29. I feel like he... Wow. The move that I... But it said he was interested, didn't it? I just thought he was older than that for some reason. In my head, he's like 35. But fair play, Brit. I actually don't mind the idea of a bit of a song belonger. Got good strength too. Shoots with power. Yeah, he feels like he's been around forever. Maybe he just came through really young. Hmm. Yeah, he's one of those players that's been about 28, 29 for about the last seven, eight years. Right, let's try and see if I can... Ah, I should have asked his agent so we could have tested it again. But I don't think I can now, can I? I probably can, actually. Let's try it. Let's ask Brit's agent instead. Wait, what? Hang on, sorry, what? Is that because I went in for the offer? It's just immediately giving me contract demands. On the 3rd of July? I never asked his agent. I have yet... What? That was yesterday. I never spoke to his agent. Who is speaking to his agent? Did your scout... But why would your scout speak to his agent? Whose scout is doing that? And also, what doesn't that defeat the point of this mechanic then if your scouts just do it at random? That's bizarre. Did the scout report say... Well, they, they said it on every one of them, to be fair. They said that on Jack Fitzwater before we asked him as well. Chat spoke to him. Yeah, true. Is it an agent offer? Uh, I don't know because it won't tell us. Could be, uh, it could be an agent offer. But then... So does an agent offer then potentially then remove the ability for you to negotiate with their agent as well? Because again, that seems a little bit silly. You think you still have the option to talk to them and then negotiate using this new feature that they've hyped up. Okay, let's try 100k. Surely you won't go for that. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I'm not paying 2 million for Brit Sumber longer. 1.1... 110k to 1.1 million and they want 2.1 million. <laughs> Cheers, agent. Okay, so probably not going to get Brit on Belonga so far. Seems unlikely. It's the fact that it didn't tell me it was an agent offer on this screen either. But it probably is. That's why we have so many of them. Hey, Mazel. So who do I want? Maybe I'll just let this go. We're going to get more of these. Let me just uh, acknowledge and see what else comes through. They've got one, oh, one in progress. Who's the one in progress? Stephen Humphreys of... Wait, hang on. I was going to say, that's Stevie Humphreys. Who's on loan. Right. So, not that useful really, is it? <laughs> But th thanks for encouraging. Thanks for showing me a player that's already on loan at another. To be fair, that's in progress, so he might just fail because of that. Looking at cards, yeah, but cards are annoying as hell. Currently, more appealing options. Hearts. Okay, fair one. I still kind of want this guy. Oh, look at all the other stuff up there. We're gonna get some trialies at least. Regular starter. That's fine. Big pay rise. Right? Uh, let's get rid of that. Can I give him a language course? He is English. <laughs> Harrying and Lux. Thank you very much for the follows. foreign clubs. Let's get rid of that. Okay, well, at the very least, okay, his age, his wage is still higher than the estimated wage down here, which is again, still silly, but it is at least not absurd, which is good. In his English. Let me just do, try and two, oh, 2k. That's alright. Oh, this isn't where I park That's my car. That's not awful, obviously. Alon, thank you for the follow. Right, I've got some lookups to catch up on, don't I? And we did the Dundee United youth teams. We need to check out a couple of these chappies. Danny... Lever. Seattle Sounders guy. Uh, very, very expensive. Obviously, he's not for us. 
But, I mean, he looks like a pretty solid midfielder from both ends as well. Bring on the Flugelkamp, Heimler! Oh, so Spayich is joining. Right, so yeah, that bug is still in the game. Oh, that's the other thing. Staff wages. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Sweden! Thank you for the follow. Sorry, Sweden. My bad. Fucked it up there. Yeah, we'll check the... Oh, he's loan listed. Oh, this park my car. True, but do we... Uh... That's a good point, actually. We could come back to that. Potentially. Aldo Boy as well. Thank you for the follow. Carlos, if you are new to the stream and you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, hey, drop a follow. That'd be lovely of you. We have got a big proper save we're, back. we're working towards. This is just to tide us over for a little bit. So this is Carlos Azevedo. Is this the guy? Look at the hair on him. What a guy. Love that. The Spanish, but basically, it's, it's the... You know when a player is available for a trial and they have a bid on them for a club? If you offer them a trial, they automatically accept the bid. Instead of taking into account the fact that you might be interested too. That's still in the game. So that's good. Revent work permits. Um, I believe they have definitely done some stuff towards knowing if a player is going to be eligible. And I believe it now does show up more in scout reports, but I couldn't possibly tell you anything beyond that. As we've yet to encounter it. But we will, because obviously we're playing in um, Inverness. He's pretty good, actually. Just kind of well-rounded. Quick as well. Like that. I'll get a scout report on him. Ah, Lake Stewart. Is he the guy from Liverpool? Or is that someone else? Yes. Oh, I think I've had this guy alone before. Let me get a scout report for him. Okay, awesome, Saz. I'll sort that one out later. It's just... It's a work in progress, isn't it? Panache. I don't know if he's actually in the database. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course he... <gasps> Chat, he actually has an official picture. Well, holy damn. They actually gave Panache a proper face this time. Big fan of that. Obviously, that's from my face pack, but still. I still prefer the one we used to use for him where he's like, hey. Introduce the manager. Uh, which manager? Norte. Actually, fuck it. Let's just scout Panache. I don't... Panache, I want to see if he's still good or not. I did like the one from his Facebook page. That was a better picture for me. Just way better. Uh, Norte, Norte. I'm not sure that he's here. Doesn't appear to be, unless I'm spelling it wrong. Doesn't appear to be. He's been on a pre-sign. Oh, he is, isn't he? Or... Oh. Just to clarify, like, the reason I'm looking up certain players is because people are requesting those players to look up. I'm not just going to look up every player someone suggests because we'll just be here all day. Lookers! Thank you for the 27 months. Ajika, 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 et Lozer. Hello, Zer. Uh, so he doesn't have an agent, it would seem. None. Which means we could just have to break through prospect. You can't not sign Panache. Oh, my lord. Even after appeal. Still doing it. <laughs> I want to find it. Spelled naughty not at all, isn't it? Isn't it just... Uh, so, as I just said, Deja Delic, I'm not just going to look up any player someone puts in chat. We'll like, we have a system for this. Uh, Phil Foden will have no longer have his face. That's a shame. Matt Slater, thank you so much for the follow. He's no longer Phil Foden. No, no worries, Deja. It's just otherwise, if I just looked up every player someone put in chat, we'd never progress past the day. So we have like a lookup thing Fiona! for it. A lonely Eskimo V1. Thank you for the follow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Pumas, is, he's gone. Let's have a look at these guys. Oh, and that's available. Wow, they're old, aren't they? Oh, they're very old. Love it. Okay, bloody hell. Because he'd never sign for us, would he? He was like, his Cooper, wages would be obscene. As would Ramon Aziz. All of these guys would, right? To get so like, yeah, so I've got Europe only, I think. Maybe. I'm not too, entirely sure, actually. Lol, white member. Thank you for the follow. We'll let these guys be only one week. Hang on. Did I not? Ah, right. That's my bad. I forgot to... God, I hate that it doesn't take you to that page by default. I'll probably change that, actually. I forgot to set off a... To try. I swear I did, actually, but we'll set that to three weeks. And that's fine. That's... Sh I do actually want that set for one week, too. <laughs> Right. Louis Mons, yeah. Louis Mons back in the wild again. Bobby. Ab. This guy here. 25 year old Uzbek. 
striker. No jumping reach, but that's fine. Uh, no, I can give him a scout. If he's got a good work rate, why the hell not? Do you want to ground the stream to a halt? Oh, no. I would never ground a stream to a halt. Not at all. Oh, dear. Imagine not MacGyver. He's probably knocking about, but I don't know if he'll be in this save just because of the way that I've set this up. I can't remember exactly what... No. What database setup I used. Actually, I've got 110k, which suggests that I do have the full amount. Maybe. So they'll bunch me in the middle. I don't know, actually. Let's have a look. That would actually make sense. On the wide ones. To spread them out a little bit and also maybe allow us to put more pressure on opposition teams' fullbacks. Oh, I like that shows the little faces. Loaned. Why are you on loan? Can we have Chris Mockery back, please? He looks quite decent, honestly. I like the familiarity wheels. Took me some getting used to, but it's definitely there. Yeah, they're like pressing inside forwards. Oh, wait, what? Why am I getting cards of these? Have I done this wrong again? Kev Caljord, thank you so much for the 15 months. How are you, man? Hello, Matt. Been a while. Just don't want to load the FM23 and going to start my beta save. Any tips or interesting things you've noticed about the game so far? Honestly, hard to say. Um, chat, I've probably played more hours in terms of actual gameplay, so they'll have a better idea. Chat, is there anything Kev should watch out for? And lol, white man, but thank you so much for the brand new tier one. That's super duper nice of you, my friend. You really didn't have to do that. Uh, yeah, so we're doing MTK Budapest, Kral. That's our big play, anyway. Also, hello. Is he expensive? Yes. Lower work rate as well. But he could be alone, maybe. Intriguing. Also, hello, sir. He's quite decent, actually. I like him. And the draw for Europe. No, we've only got through one friendly so far. Standard. Um, right, let me think about this. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I was going to change this, wasn't I? Wait, surely that's... Ah, that's it. That's what it was. It was the finished scouting players ones. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't get bombarded with this. So, obviously, Whelan is decent, but he has that cruciate ligament injury. injury. Jaden Heskey. We'll scout him further. And Vata. Work rate could be low, could be high. I don't know. We'll have to find out. It's pretty early on. Yeah, but remember, as I said, we've only played one game so far. We're going to play another one now, though. So, let's change this around. Let's test this new style. Not style. There's a couple of tweaks we've made out. But I am still going to put Regan Booty in. Hi, Regan. God, at least make the bench, Regan. Jeez. Wait, what? There he is. He's way more familiar with it. Uh, yeah, he is actually his... Um, He's his son, I believe. Where I get the skin? Exclamation mark skin. And you have your answer. They definitely have to adjust the times on the... The draws, for sure. Uh, my assistant never has any... That'll narrow it down. <laughs> Cheers, Claypots. I think it would at least show the grayed out players in there, right? <laughs> All right, let's test this slight change. Regan Booty is going to captain the team. Of course he is. It's Regan Booty. Has Jack Fitzwater actually signed for us yet, or is he still uh, mulling us over? Deciding whether to sign for Hearts. <laughs> Kieran Freeman, like you, you've already agreed with me. That's good. Okay, so I've won. Oh. He agreed with me briefly until I spoke to someone else. Then he decided against it again. It was 16 nil. We had a goal disallowed at the end. Hang on. What? The viewer number was the same as their formation. I like... And then they come out and play that anyway. Crazy. See if this makes any difference. I don't care if the scoreline's the same. I'm more looking at the way we play. Uh, the next match we'll play against a much better side. I just want to test this wide thing out. Well, Freeman's getting into space all the... Wow, okay, that was weird. Hmm. Booty bombing forward. Regan Booty! Oh, ho, ho, the booty banger so close. That would have been a great goal. I mean, Matt, I'm not against anyone doing anything they want because at the end of the day, FM is a game. It's a single player game. People can play the game however they bloody like. The main thing is, if you're having fun, you're playing it correctly. Um, I would perhaps advise against starting your main save on the beta just because you may end up 
with a lot of bugs in the game that will not be allowed to, not be able to be fixed even with a patch and there you could be stuck playing a save that has massive issues like for example the technical progression issues that we're now seeing horrendously booty with another good ball in oh the delivery from regan booty he's a machine i don't care about his star rating he is a machine freeman again go on so many bodies in there anaku look at this play it feels like work ball into the box now actually does work ball into the box big fan of that <laughs> local brown notes <laughs> actually it was fixed on i'm actually not sure uh Bjergsnes. i they have like a data lock date but i don't know when that date actually is unfortunately i don't know if they actually released that number uh so basically uh melancholia there was an oh dear it's something to do with how players technical attributes are not improving over time uh, sorry they are not progrooving in a realistic way to the point where on average players in like 2039 have like a finishing that's like seven on average seven lower than they should be uh rig and booty i might put on shoot more often i might not put him on shoot more often <laughs> he'll do it anyway it's Regan booty <laughs> yeah what a floppy tactic how are we doing statistics wise okay Maybe clay pots are just way better than Dundee Uni because they're not all hung over. Yeah, the Thorum thread is where you'll see all the stuff about it. Oh, this keeper's actually having a good day. Lovely finish. I like the way that he rebounded there and actually followed that up. That's good to see. Yeah, so things like the attribute, the, the growth bug is one of the reasons I would very much advise against starting your uh, save now because it does feel like the type of thing that would not be able to be applied to an existing save. Yeah, do you remember the, the regen issue where the players just weren't generating? Yeah, true. Why would I tell Regan what to do? He knows what to do. He's Regan Bastard Booty. Our CM's had a bit of a rough day so far. Positively chuffed. Yeah, that's a new fun one. Oh, I didn't look up Bart, did I? Yeah, and Endrick should grow a lot more than that um, since he's probably one of the best Wonder Kids in the game. And at 15 as well. It's ridiculous. It's Look at that little burst of pace. Lovely stuff. Demanding a title. Really? I haven't actually looked at it properly. But at the end of the day, I feel like that's kind of the issue that is actually kind of appalling. Uh, the broken from Andalek. I believe he was at Andalek. I can't remember. Because when I signed him on my last save, technically from Manchester City, on a free. But he did. He was definitely on loan in the Netherlands at least once, if not more. I think actually he may have been at Nak Breda on my other save. Okay. So Anaku's looks solid so far. That's CMA. It's Elekin Mangala. Yeah, we got him in on trial. Just to test something out. Yeah, the beta is obviously massively an opportunity to just sort of get used to what the game's going to be like. Oh, that's better. Right, now drop it across to the CMA. Oh. Where's Booty when you need him? Freeman. Ah, that's a poor effort. Yeah, he feels like one of those guys that's going to be like a game breaker potentially. Hmm. Central striker struggled a little bit today, interestingly. Oh, as has our CMA. Intriguing. We're still playing well though, and it might just be the type of opposition and the system they're playing, potentially. Out of the season ticket waiting list. Yeah, the season ticket waiting list for me seems to be completely unrealistic as well. Like, the Fulham one says there's 25,000 people on the season ticket waiting list. That seems a bit much for Fulham. Like, I love my club, but Jesus. Hello, Dan. Only way to Leeds. Oh, yeah, that's perfect, actually, because this stream will finish about 15 minutes before the Leeds game kicks off, which is perfect. <laughs> Precisely. I care less about being sacked again on the beta, which is why... Oh, what an effort, which is why I'm willing to try this out. We haven't signed Jerome Sinclair yet, but we have got him on trial still. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of him so far. But Anaku looks really good too. I think he's one of our players. Levitz ball, go on. Mangala, there we go. Eleki Mangala. You'll love to see it. The Heal Project, thank you very much for the raid. And because they've had his shout outs now, I get to do this properly. I don't know if mods can do this. Uh, Inferno, you might have to try this out if you're still here. But you can now do shout outs, which do a similar thing to... Um, Let's try it. There we go. But it actually pops a thing up at the top of the screen, which is kind of sick. So if you guys do fancy giving Heal Project a follow, then do please be sure to do that. As glass is through here, we nearly conceded to clay pots. As Henry comes in with a 20 months. How a stream, uh, Heal Project? What was your save? 
Welcome in, everybody. They have a guy called Flight and Glart. The, the names are very, like, on the nose. This has been nowhere near as good as the last one, has it? Moment MSL. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I love that that appears there. Okay, that right there is actually game changer. To have that in the middle, the pass networks as well. Okay, look at that. Is that the CMA? Is he dropping in between them? He is, isn't he? He's actually, I love how our CMA is actually sat deeper than our, um, deeper than our DMs. I wonder if we move him back up here again, actually. Just try that again. Curious now. It's over the line. Thank you for the follow. The season ticket waiting list. Yeah, you'll notice how the number is actually absurd. I'll show you the Dundee United one in a minute because it's probably like three or four times the number of season ticket holders we actually have. Higher up on support. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, we instantly score. Literally within seconds of the start of the second half. Yeah, he doesn't need to be on attack, does he? I kind of just think like we kind of need a guy in there. That was nice, though. We'll just go and score like six in the second half now. We just know that we've found the right approach. To be fair, it might be that the CMA actually is a good approach. It's just when you're playing against better oppositions, it might be more appropriate for us. Right, good tackle. There we go. Well played. Is that somebody? Is he the wide? Yes, he is. Okay, good. I'm just trying to watch the movement of the guys trying to get towards the box. Okay, that's that's a dreadful cross. You kind of do need at least one CMA, right? That's nice. Booty. Oh, booty to the box. Freeman, here we go. Oh, a little outside of the foot. Oh! That would have been an amazingly good goal. Ninja checking with the five months. Thank you so much. Thank you for the content and stream. Thank you for joining us. We can't wait for your FM service this year. Hope you're doing okay. I'm doing better than okay. I'm doing well. Um, Anyone enjoy the way that Graham just fell on his face there? Big fan of that. You'll also notice a lot more outside of the foot type of shots and passes, which I've enjoyed tremendously as well. You get some really nice looking goals. Oh, lovely. Anaku going for the hat trick. Poor first touch. Doesn't matter. Hat trick. What one is the skin? Uh, the .fmf file. Cla Holy shit. Clates with the unbelievably huge raid. Oh my god. How's things going at Newcastle? How are you finding the game? Actually, that's a bigger question. Let me get you a shout out, my friend. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at me being all professional and whatnot. Hopefully that works. I think that worked. Hopefully it should pop up at the top of the screen. Simon J, thank you so much for the six months. There we go. We've got out of it. Taylor, thank you so much for the follow. And Viking Superman with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, my man. That's so kind of you. As we score another one. Okay, we'll take that. Circle Tide, thank you for the follow. Shabby Murky, great name. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, no, how, how are you finding the new game? I've decided that pressing forwards are extremely overpowered. Even more so than I thought they were before. Proceeded to lose the next two. Standard. I've not played an actual competitive game yet. <laughs> I'm still doing friendlies against teams called Clay Pots. Right, left, right. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Due to your Clay Pots. A fun fact. It could well, be worse. We beat Dundee Uni 16 0 in the previous game. So there's plenty of time for this to happen. It was only 3-0 at half time, in fairness. They they held on well. It's it's gonna get a lot worse for them now that I've made that tactical switch, I think. This oh, seems to be the right approach as Levitt now gets forward and scores the goal. Causeway, and thank you for the follow. Rudeholm, thank you for thank you for all the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Um hope how are you lot enjoying? All of you that have just joined from the raid. How are you enjoying FM23 so far? Oh, this is If you I could give your favourite thing about it and your least favourite thing about it, what would they be? I sound like a radio DJ there. Just hyping you up for the next track. Which is is this song apparently? It's good uh, you came in summer. In winter. Some of these trialies are definitely helping us too, I suspect. Yes. Striker's confidence. Oh, for sure. You need that. A job interview. Yes. If I was on TikTok, I'd be that bald man that shouts all the time. You know who I'm. If you know, you know. We'll list it. Yeah. My managerial ability. <laughs> You're a man of my own heart. It's, um, I am liking the way the match engine looks, though. Okay, so whatever we did at halftime, that one change has made a big difference. Because we scored five goals in the last 20 minutes and just look. With that AM on, it's even improved the central striker. Not as much, though. Endrick, of course. Harry Hill. He does look like Harry Hill, doesn't he? An overhead kick. 
I don't believe it. I've still not seen that shabby, but I I believe that it could happen. Enjoy the rest of your day, Clates. Oh dear. I really like the um the some of the new goalkeeping animations look really, really sick. We saw this amazingly cool reaction like spread save earlier, where it was the second phase of a shot. And the keeper just stuck his hand out madly and just tipped it onto the bar. It was gorgeous. I really like the outside of the foot play. You'll, one thing as well you'll notice as well. Sometimes when a player is in possession, especially centre-backs, they'll stand there and put their foot on the ball. And I've just been gifted Vampire Survivors <laughs> by Viking. You legend. Thank you, man. I was going to buy that after stream anyway. <laughs> MM, Twilight is the best light you owe me, big man death. <laughs> you'll love to see it. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, sometimes they'll just stand there and put their foot on the ball. And it I actually quite like just simple stuff like that. Oh, here we go. Go on, Jerome. It's Jerome. He's really slow, apparently, just there. Love that. I like players scoring one-on-ones. I like... I like watching the matches. And it just feels like they're just... It just looks more realistic for me. I like being able to see a player go through on goal and not automatically assuming that the keeper's going to save it every single time. It's just... I love that. I feel like I'm going to enjoy watching the games a lot more this year. I try, I'm trying to think if I've ever seen an overhead kick in FM. I think I've genuinely seen more reverse, re back, reverse Rabona back heels. It's hard to explain. Than I have seen overhead kicks. And Aku's in. Oh, even that finish there was just kind of nice. The match engine just looks nicer. Yeah, I think we have to revert back to the, uh, the AM but on support. He's been fabulous in the second period here. Go on, long ranger from Booty. Oh, I was hoping he'd go for it. Oh, little deflected shot too. HRJ Carlson, thank you so much for the follow. Any reputation like mid teams? It depends on where you want to go, Fat and Fluffy, right? Like, are we talking, do you want to stay in the British Isles? Or are you thinking, oh, I should probably make sub, shouldn't I? Yeah. I think if you've not managed outside of England before, one of the best places to go are big fish, small ponds. So like Red Star. Dinamo Zagreb. Because then you don't have to worry so much about the league, but you still get this awesome way of bringing through loads of youth prospects. You still get to do a lot of the worldwide scouting, and you get to fight on the big European fronts whilst not having to worry too much about being sacked domestically. And I think that's kind of fun. Personally. Palmer. Speaking of Palmer, Corswain, right? I I'm sure a lot of you already know about this. Shane Clates is not here. He'd love this. Um... Do you know have you seen the classic football shirts time? Christmas oh, yes, jumpers? Sure. I'll just let that they sit for a second and not. see what people say. Mortal Hass. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, let me make some random subbies here. While you give me your thoughts on that. Uh, really? good, uh, we'll get Fletcher in for a bit. Oh, it's because Kudjo's in the middle. That's why. We'll get Beckick in for Acevedo because I liked him in that first game. We'll get Tony Watt in as well. We'll get Adriano in for Freeman. That'll do. You will soon. Yeah. So, just to clarify. Um, Poland as well, yeah. You're going to enjoy these. Check the shit out. Check this shit out. Some of these are absolutely outrageous. I love what they've got written on them as well. Look at the Roma one. Because, and they have stuff on the back as well. This is real. These, these are available to purchase. Um, and Pog may or may not have bought me this one yesterday evening. Look at... It's got Grotto on it instead of Lotto. How can you not want one? And it's got Crespo on the back. I think they're absolutely outrageous. I love these. I saw a TikTok, basically. And, but yeah, they're 40 quid, which honestly, I've paid more for a Christmas jumper. They're amazing. And they are still in stock at the moment. But look at that Santa with Crimbo there. Um, oh, what was the other one I really like? The Roma one was pretty sick. The Liverpool one is just standard solid one. Yep. I don't know who's got the back of the Liverpool one. Uh, oh, it's Gerard. Of course it is. I just think they're so sick. You've got... I love that one as well. The Arsenal one. With ice instead of JVC. Not a big fan of the Real one, honestly, for me. Love the Totti one. The Bayern one's pretty sick as well, actually. The, um... Is that, uh... Na no, not Napoli. Oh, it could be Napoli, actually. Not... Hard to tell. Or oh, it could be some... No, it's Napoli, isn't it? Because it's got, like, Maradona on it. The Opal one saying Noel. Yeah! Even the Rangers one. They're super duper sick. Just saw it randomly on a TikTok. You don't like the Path and Nope one. Do you know I don't know? Not a big fan of Path and Nope, me. Who thought that name? I, I need to have a word with whoever thought that Path and Nope was. I know it's Parthenope, probably, but Path and Nope, really? 
Yeah, honestly, fat and fluffy. I feel like if you go to most leagues from like 10th in the coefficients down to about 22nd and just pick their top team, you'd have a great time. Lovely finish from Matty Kudjo before he goes off. We were 3 0 up at half time here, and this has made a big difference. Parthenon was a. Is it really? It makes sense, but I feel like just saying it out loud just feels wrong, right? Yeah, Sunday's news is going to take some getting used to. Um, but it felt like the right choice. <laughs> you just have to, White Mama. There's no free will here. Yeah, Brianza is a strange one. Uh, luckily, we don't have that problem in this save because obviously I've got the name fixed now, but it was odd. Yeah, I've weirdly never managed in the Scottish leagues before. Not once. This is my first experience of ever managing in Scotland in the eight years I've been playing FM and creating content for it. But I do love things like the Scottish Cup. Pronounced like Penelope. So like Patanope. Patanope? Speaking of um, pronouncing things in a Greek way, again, this is another one of those mats or a TikTok, about how words like molecules and particles should be pronounced as if they were Greek gods. So think of molecules and particules and then get back to me. That would make science way more fun. Uh, to be fair, they've been Atletico Pamplona for the last couple of years. Like, you've got Rail, Hospi His Hispalis, no, something like that. And then, um, there's another one. There's quite a Rail San Sebastian. The Scottish national team. But that doesn't count. Testicules, yeah. Yeah, Rail Hispalis, that's the one. Particules. Homocles cares not for beams. Have a license fix. Oh, so is that? Oh. oh, the fake Pez names were amazing because they were just so on the damn nose. We nearly created as much XG in the second half of this game as we did. Yeah, that that's the one. That right there, my friends, is is the one for me. It did the striker get any? Yeah, Kajo is just not a very good striker, honestly. So I think that'll be fine. Yes, Robinson refusing to play. Those were the days. 12-0 in the end. Pez 6 was just quality. Nothing comes close to Pez 6. Pez 6 might be my favourite football game of all time. Just, I don't think anything's ever come close to being as good as Pez 6 was. Right, let's just change that tactic again. Did I make a second version? Oh, I did! I do wonder if it's because it actually allows more freedom for these guys too. So let me switch these guys to play out wider still, like we did before. And then we will try. I don't really want to run wide with ball on them, but I'll turn him back to support. Will he keep getting further forward if I put him on support? No. We can always tweak that later. Prove it to it. I never had. I'm blubbing. Oh, it was just. It was the most, like, realistic feeling football game. It just felt so fun to play. The goals just looked so good. It was amazing. Oh, no, I think it had Adriano on the cover, didn't it? I swear it had Adriano on the cover. Oh, hello. They want Darren Watson. Uh, Yeah, you can have Darren Watson on loan. Yeah, you're paying his weight. Well, that's fine. He's not going to get in our team at the moment anyway. Pez 5 had Terry. That's the one, yeah. It was, I played... I was playing Pez... Because I don't... Did Pez 6 come... It was about 2006, wasn't it, that Pez 6 came out, right? Wait, we're getting... Oh, we're getting Panache. Well, we're probably not, are we? Because of the work permit situation. But do we actually know more about him yet? He doesn't look quite as good as he has been in the past. Actually, I'll tell you what. He doesn't look that bad still. Panache, by the way. If you're in, like... Actually, this is a bit... Now that I've got, like, a, a good amount of viewers for the moment, right? This is a good little tip for you, right? If you're managing in, like, any league, I would say, outside of, like, uh, the top... If you're sort of from here downwards, right? Panache Mutimbanyoka is an unbelievable player. He will just score goals for fun. Ignore the fact that his attributes might not look that fantastic. There's something about him in the match engine, or certainly has over the last couple of years, where he is just a goal machine. Would highly recommend Panache Mutimbanyoka. What a monster. He plays for FC Platinum in Zimbabwe, but I've just had... He's the kind of player that scores a shitload of goals even for AI teams. His Holy Trinity is good, yeah. He's just so damn good. I don't know who you are, Danny Lennon. Are you related to Neil? Hope not. And he's usually available very cheap. In fact, I think he's free. Oh, that's another thing we need to check. Oh, speaking of which, actually, staff. Let's check this thing about staff then, shall we? Where does he play? He plays for FC Platinum in Zimbabwe. So you will have to load that. 
he's the perfect type of um, smaller save player because he's available for free. Wage demands won't be immense because he's fairly young still. Uh, it'll like a break. Like he's coming through a breakthrough prospect for us here. Especially if you're playing in Sweden. Sweden, Denmark, Finland, especially Finland, actually. Those kind of saves he's utterly perfect for. Oh, I wonder how good Classy Classy Netneck is. Right, let's check the staff stuff out. Um... Ah, I haven't imported my bloody staff views over yet. Oh, well, we'll just have to do the default for a minute. Let's find a new scout. See if this works. I forgot to copy all the other views over. Right, okay. Let's see then. I want mental attributes. I kind of hate that it then removes some stuff. All right. Uh, include realistic appointments. All right, this, this is a big test. You're a director of football. You're a scout. You've got really high adaptability. Wait, that's that's staff ability. I'm an idiot. That's more like it. Okay, here we go. No, he's got a club. We want unemployed scout. This guy. Asa Hartford. It's too much, but that might be a realistic one. He's not asking for... That's more... It doesn't seem too bad. Like, he only wanted... Sli Let's see if I opening the amount of... Yeah, okay, so that still works. Pro tip, if you're... If you're sca this really only works with staff, I find. If they want too much money, increase the length of the contract if you can. It often brings the amount of money they want down way loads. That does seem better. We'll get a better idea, I think, when we're managing MTK. Because they're going to be in a more position to have a higher... Not a higher ceiling so much as, like... Speaking of, by the way, is he actually set to sign staff? No, he's not. Right, that'd be why. Let me just let them handle that for the moment. With it being a beta sale, I'm not too fussed about how they appoint, but I do kind of want to appoint that one guy. Hello, Pog. It's going all right. It's going okay. Go to the team news screen before the dressing room. Look at match ticket. Oh, the match ticket thing is really sick. It really is. Still too high. Blue Star might be tough. You're right. Yeah, Blue Star is going to be super. I mean, Blue Star will be tough, but the thing is, because it's a lower league save, I kind of... The kind of shorthand things to do in a lower league save I think will probably get us by until such time as I can sign some proper scouts Jonathan Tars just doing RB Leipzig okay we'll get another ooh. I might just sim the next game so we can get to that game against, uh, against Espanyol and I can get a better idea of where we're at uh, you are a fullback I'd quite like to wait how good actually are you mm. you can probably do it some loan time honestly it's no like permanent deals in there is there no okay that's fine but i bought the liverpool i love that they've probably just got a uh rejected the loan oh god is that gonna be a thing then is it okay please tell me why like all it needs there is a thing that says rejected the loan from clyde because x why is that hard this gun is going to st mirren okay we, we accept that vicente oh yeah good point is vicente still good Except, of course, because everyone's called Vicente, I need people scout. Is Vicente still the goat? Uh, does Vicente even still exist? What the hell? There's only this guy. Is this him? No. Where's he gone? Is he just noped the hell out of this save play called wangy my reserves maybe uh gets label all that maybe i'm not here to debate label laws it's not what i do and my reserves wangy yes there is uh brian wangy lovely haircut as well hey danny not an amazing player but he does have excellent hair that's something right we did Phil Foden, we did Bobeer, we need to do Bart and the classy classy netnik. I feel like he should still have been there though, right? Oh yeah, he's an Anderlecht. Oh, that's a permanent contract. Oh, I see. So Bart might be harder to get like, in. I only typed in classy classy netnik instead of his actual name. Oh, he's looking better and better, isn't he? Um... Chat, we need to talk. Like, he's not looking all that necky. I mean, obviously, I'm still going to change his name. But he's looking somewhat less necked. He's still fairly necky. 
but he's more like classy classy neck now jumping reach though do be looking poggy he looks extremely good vicente rodriguez right i don't think he's there but we'll, we'll do with a full name just in case i've spelt something wrong in there Vicente Rodriguez. Yeah, the only Vicente Rodriguez in here is the guy that plays for Caracas. Hmm. The neck is slowly shrinking. Hey, Ken. Hey, Bolland. Thank you so much for the 10 months. Hope you're well on this fine Sunday. Yeah, the long neck monster could have been a thing and everything. Can he be available for loan? He's not actually playing for Benfica these days, is he? He surely can't still be ready for Benfica times. Work rate's very good. Nah, he's got a couple of appearances for Benfica. Would he be available for loan? FM still is a bit mental with loans, isn't it? They want us to pay 700000 a month to loan him. If he's not played. And three hundred if he... Three... Four million pounds to loan him. So that's still a little bit messy, isn't it? I do find that some of the loan requirements are still mental. Obviously, he hasn't actually. I don't know if he'd actually be in the database because of the way I've said. Oh, no, he should be. Um... Fernando be looking slightly different to what I remember him looking like. Sorry, 18? He grew up in the wrong neighborhood. He's apparently 18. He looks nothing like the Fernando Ovalar that we had in our face pack from before. Wow, look at the jump. Mm. He's had a rough two years. Offers me for Walker. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh, right, so we're getting work. Fitzwater. That's good. Car. I'll take that. Crush. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I just got a achievement unlocked. Planned signing? It's not planned. I don't plan things. Right, let's see if there's any guys I want. Adriano's trial coming to an end. I, he might be good, but there's no way we're going to be able to sign him, is there? Wait, you, do you have an agent? Surely you have an agent, right? Tom Hart. <laughs> Careful. So I can't ask him about... Oh, because he was an agent. Offer money. Let's see what he wants. It's it's probably moon money. 8,000 quid. Yeah, no. Basufa. These guys are all really old, and I think it wouldn't really particularly benefit us that much. Whereas some of these guys, particularly him, although he's a winger, doesn't really suit what we want to do. Could be interesting, though. Looks like a really solid young player, honestly. As Ice with a 29 months. Thank you so much. Yeah, as Ice. No, sorry, Aziz. Aziz probably is a bit cheaper. Not even probably, he is. Uh, you're 21. He's really quite interesting, actually. He looks like a sort of player that's going to get picked up a lot. The problem is we've got the work permit issues, right? I've seen a crocodile. There's plenty of time for crocodiles. You're only 29. There's a few more guys in here. Wait, Giovanni Dos Santos. Is that the former Wigan guy? Oh, the waiting list. Yes. So that's in Club Vision and then support. No, wait, where is it? Is it here? Yeah, look. I take it back. Nobody likes Dundee United, apparently. <laughs> Season ticket waiting list. None. <laughs> Alright, so it doesn't apply to every club, is my point. Um, plenty of appeal. Disagree. It, it would seem to be a lie. Can you see other clubs? I don't know if you can. Let's have a look in the, the Cinch Premiership. Let's look at the Hibbies boardroom <laughs> just sneaking onto the hips boardroom it might be a skin thing uh doesn't seem like you can no that yeah that my fate is in their hands that scares me to death you're that really good striker that probably won't talk to us and you're giovanni dos santos Fuck, let's just try anyone like that but i don't want to use i want to have too many trials just because ricardo Corre okay if you're playing a w look at the state of him. He's still he could still comfortably do it. 
What a guy. If we were playing a wide man in this system, I'd be happily getting him in. Will still. Wait, where is he from? It's kind of weird that it doesn't show their nationality on this screen. It's kind of weird that it doesn't show their nationality on this screen. Belgium would make sense given his, like, playing career. Would like to see, like, their... Yeah. He's a Belgian Englishman. Of course he is. Born in... The Unknown. Calvin Ramsey. Isn't he the guy that Bring Liverpool signed from Aberdeen? Was it Aberdeen? Yeah. For, like, not quite big player. It's Scarter! Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, can't see much about him at the moment, obviously. He might be a good loan. Potentially. It's only Scotland. Yes, yeah, it's, it's only Celtic and Rangers. Though, to be fair, if this tactic actually works, then it's probably quite doable. Uh, Calo Uche. 39 years old. Was Uche the guy that was really overpowered on FIFA back in the day when he was at Levante? Or am I thinking of someone else? Injured that. Oh, good point. Yeah. I'm looking for, I just need strikers at this point. Is there any strikers in that list other than the ones we just looked at? Doesn't appear so. Sandy Walsh. Like that. Acknowledge. Still one guy in progress there. Ah, some loans are coming through there potentially. Goalkeeper. Okay, they're all domestically, which makes sense. Okay, we'll get Gio Dos Santos in because of reasons. <laughs> it does feel like it's going to be that type of FM, doesn't it? Where, if anything, that's one man too many there, babe. Do a bit of that. Uh, right, let's have a look at Gio. Good lord. Technically, he's still extremely good. Work rate so low, though. Oh, Ricardo Karejma. He's still very good, though. Jesus Christ, Thiago Neves. Like, not being funny, if he'd actually talk to us, I'd get... Look at the state of him. I know he's 37, but on a one-year deal, if he's cheap enough, I'd be well up for that. How many caps for Brazil have you got? Hopefully none. Damn it! I was hoping you'd have no caps for Brazil. <gasps> Wait a minute! Hang on a minute. Wait, is that locked in? Oh, I was hoping that you could do the... Um, I was hoping I could put a cheeky little 10 international cap clause on him. Falford with the seven months. Thank you so much, man. That's very kind of you. Welcome back. Yeah, that's what I was going to try and do, but it doesn't appear to be there. I think there's like an age. Oh, of course he's probably retired. False teeth. False teeth for the false nine. I open my Voluted own. Python. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, let me just bump his appearance fee up then by like the equivalent of his wage. Yeah. So this is basically, he'll get the same money, but now it's based more on if he plays and less based on... I actually really like him. Yeah. Just taking huge punts on 37-year-old Brazilians, but... That's what beta saves are for. Plus, his work rate is still surprisingly good. St. Johnston want Liam Smith. What position does Liam Smith play in? You're a fullback, and I'd really rather not lose you. Uh, let's just stall for the moment. Injury update. That's fine. No, we're going to appeal. Pan we don't want to not get Panache. Oh. Finer than. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, yeah, that's not happening, is it? Drop the crocodile part. It was just going to be impossible to. We could still call it that, but... Let's be honest, there wasn't going to be enough players for us to do that. So what I'm going to do with this one is just... um, Oh, I keep accidentally clicking that. Just to instant this one, because I want to get to the Espanyol game. And get a better idea of who we actually want to play. They're not the Blue Brazil, though, are they? Who is the Blue Brazil? Is it Cowdenbeath? Airdrie? I got... Really? That's a bit concerning. Although it could just be because of the Insta result factor. It might just be a... the tactic doesn't work in Insta. It was Cowdenbeath. I knew it was one of those. Why are they called that? I do like that, though. Oh, apparently we're gaining cash. Finest Doff have acted as hedge coat as well, so looking forward to the site. Perfect. More room for Gideon. Okay, we're getting him, apparently. Trial's finished. Uh, let's look at Aziz again. Oh, yeah, if we're going to sign um, Watsmajig, we're probably not going to need Aziz, are we? Oh, we might get our European draws soon. 
That'd be exciting. I don't... I think it's a cool idea, Saz, but I don't think... It, if it's going to be there, it needs to be the other side, potentially. Because I think I'm going to accidentally click it a lot because I'm so used to being... Chris Smalling's just signed for Newcastle. Um, Get him on the plane. Ruben mascots. Oh, dear God. Here's a fun fact. Voltaire contracted syphilis just two blocks from here. <laughs> I mean, they couldn't be any more on the nose if they tried, really, could they? Like... <laughs> Jesus, skinny Chris, thank you for the follow. So that, oh, here we go, conference league. This is the round before we're in, I think. Oh, shit, is... Is Neves even going to get a... Actually, he must do, because it didn't say anything on the bottom when we were trying to sign him about him not getting a work permit. It's a bit pickle, Rick, isn't it? It rose with the club's financial plight in the early 80s, and he humorously compared to that of Brazil's national debt. However, the popular consensus seems to be that it's down to a heavy dose of football irony. I do love me a bit of football irony. We're getting Tiago Neves. Come on. I'm going to sign Panache anyway, but we'll loan him out. What's the best nation to loan him to? Here we go. Yeah, he's a bit good, isn't he? He is a bit delicious. Marty Wolf. Thank you so much for the follow. And also, hello. How are you going? It wouldn't be one of my saves on the beta if we didn't just sign a random 37-year-old Brazilian. Where has he played? He was at Hamburg briefly. He spent most of his career in... South America and um, Here's a fun fact. Well, not South America. He is ridiculous for the league he's in. He will get injured every week, but it's part of the fun, isn't it? Trent, thank you for the follow. Let's get Charlie Mulgrew to introduce himself to him. I'm sure they'll be able to have... They'll get on. They're nearly the same age. What skin? Uh, we are doing... If you do exclamation mark skin, anyone who's new, anyone who's another skin, it's this. Um, there's a newer version as well that's got some changes to it, but it's, it's a work in progress, basically, from uh, one of the lovely members of the community, Saz. And I think it looks sick. There's so many things you can do with it. Like, all the stuff being able to accessible on one screen is just fucking pogged up. Fell! I fell for you and fell for five months. Thank you so much, mate. It's very kind. I'm enjoying it, Palsy, honestly. Um, more so than I was expecting, to be honest. So we're going to have to loan Panache. Wait. Oh, he doesn't join us for a... How much to buy now? I'll probably do that. I'll spend my £9,000 on a player that can't play for us. Right. To the loan farm with you. Let's try this out, actually, shall we? I do like that. I do like that. I, I, one of the things I noticed when I went to when I was testing this before was that. But I just like that it appears here. Don't show this message. Was this here before? And I maybe just so said, don't show this message again. That might have been what happened in the past, honestly. I'll just leave it as it is, I just want him to play. Hypers! Thank you for the follow. Regions are broken. Do you mean like the technical stuff? You bought a player you can't use? Yeah. Welcome in. <laughs> but we also want Tiago Neves, who we can use. I don't Maybe it was in there before, honestly. It might have just been that I hit the don't show me again part on it last time and then just completely ignored it the entire year. That feels like something I would do. Uh, sorry, Ryan. You're number 11 now. Enjoy. Chiki son de stream out. Oh, you love to see it. Twazik, thank you so much for the 30 months. You're a lovely man. How's it going? And FM Holmes, so thank you for the follow. So it's new. Awesome. I know that that right there is definitely an FM23 thing because one of the first things I did on um when I was playing the game down at SI was I looked at that exact thing. Is that the policy? <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> Okie okay, Joby. So I'm just like, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you. But no, basically, um, he's a player I've always really liked. And I was hoping we could get a work permit. Bear in mind, you can still get a work permit for them. But I'm going to have to loan him out somewhere in order for him to get that work permit. I believe. Nilin. Thank you for the follow. Right, this is more important. This is Espanol, which is going to actually have more of a bearing now. So I want to pick... Oh God, Gio Dos I don't want Gio Dos Santos through the middle. I need to pick a more sensible team. So we're going to have Booty again, because obviously we're going ultimate sensibility. Levitt. Where's Thiago Neves? Oh. oh, he's injured, isn't he? I think. Maybe I just missed him. I'm sure I just missed him. Oh, sub 15. Okay, sick. Okay, gotta stop doing whatever you're doing there, Matt. Oh, he's right below Regan Booty. Of course he is. Ah, he's only able to play further up. Wait, what?
Oh, because it's a DM, not a CM. I keep forgetting that the, because they're so pushed up, they're Can not CM. Scotland? MCOC, thank you very much for the nine months. That's my bad. Um, in that case, we'll probably put him there. Mm. I should really look for some more DMs, Cooper, shouldn't I? Do not hate me. I am familiar with the I just want to try him out for the really? moves and I am programmed to get freaky. Hang on. We can put you back here last time. Oh, he's just bad. I see. So who did I put in that role instead? Uh, let's have Levitt. There we go. Levitt never's like that. Oh, dear. Uh, Erobling. Thank you so much for the follow. It's because when you push the... Hang on. When you've actually got a CM, it pushes them further back, but it's just to expand the screen. Lower stopped. I've never actually... Well, I've been, every time I've been to lower stopped, I've always been disappointed. The last time I went there, it was really foggy and I nearly crashed on the way home. I want Tony Watt through the middle, actually, because he's actually going to play for us. And I want Anaku on the left. And Sinclair on the right, probably. The rest of the... And Fitzwater's in there, too, which is good. That's not a bad team, actually. Yeah, Nevers will get in here no matter what. Exactly. What do I install? Uh, as in what for, Artsy? For the skin itself. Um, so basically, if you go into the folder that's linked, there's a file in it called um, blah, 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 dot FMF. Not the one that's got laptop. And then you just put that in the skins folder. It's not actually called blah, blah, blah. I just can't remember the exact name. <laughs> okay. It's going to look like I'm not going for it. Hey, they beat Liverpool yesterday. Real save. Real save. How dare you? Uh, yeah, MTK Budapest will be the, the big save. That'll take some time to get used to. You're under a bid as well, so I definitely wouldn't want to loot. Yeah, I forgot I've got exclamation mark plans. I think you're right. I think it should be changed. The substitute. Thank you for the follow. Right, let's get that done. See how we fare against um, Espanyol with a system like this. I'd expect us to lose. Let's have a look at that. I do like those. <laughs> so many subs that the bench is just like getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, no, there's no YouTube beta save. I just felt like if I did a YouTube beta save, it would be a waste of time because I don't feel like they do great for me anyway. And it meant that it would take time away from me being able to work on other projects. So I'm working on... A video where I'm going to try and optimize the scouting recruitment as much as possible. I'm also working on the Premier League years thing, of course, which is going to—it's obviously taking up a lot of my time, and all sorts of other stuff too. And obviously, getting ready things for Blue Star. Gideon in goal is the big save. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there'll be super lots of tongue twisters, but I'm ready. It's like a Twitch stream. Depends on which stream. Oh, Sinclair's in. Oh, I like the right. Do you know what I liked about that play? The fact that that shot didn't get blocked. Because it felt to me like on FM22, every single time you'd end up in there, um, you'd get... That shot would be blocked. Scout, it's going to take me some while to get used to, uh, y'all. I'm going to spend on Monday, basically from like the moment I get up to like about the evening, just going through and trying all sorts of different settings in there to try and work out what's the most effective way of getting your scout and recruitment set up. And I might just spend the whole of next week just doing that when I'm not streaming. Eating and sleeping. I don't sleep. We can. Uh, the Blue Star City will have storylines, yeah, but it'll be told slightly differently. So think like the office and parks and rec. Most of the story will be told through like talking heads instead with me and the players. Uh, the Blue Star, I'd probably pick Christopher Carlson, I think. That's probably going to be my choice for the manager. So we start the orgy. <laughs> Thank you very Right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's the sort of engineer situations I'm trying to engineer with this setup. That exact thing right there. Anaku. Ah, oh, he's lost it. That's a pain. Watch us now concede off of that exact chance. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, surely the bench isn't even long enough for this many subs. So playing out from the back seems okay. Because... It's weird. They're actually pushed up quite high on the left side, but they're allowing a lot of space for B-Hitch, which means with our wide... Yeah, there we go. With the pressing forwards out wide. Doing stuff like that. Right, go on. Anaku, great touch through for Tony Watt. Gets the shot away and it's wide. and It's wover. But it's those type of chances I'm looking to engineer. And I think that's where the real success could come. Although it looks like Puado actually could be quite powerful for Espanyol. They're a better side than us anyway. But that's what we're looking for. What are Arsenal's again? I don't know, actually. It's the same thing again. So we should just be able to continue to hit that same channel. This is going to be more of an experiment, though. Oh, yeah, they actually are fitting all on the bench. There's even a spare seat. Presumably that's where the manager sits. 
One of the richest... Well, how so? What, because it's just... Is he independently wealthy? Ah. Right, watch out for that ball through the middle. He's going to have to shoot from range here, surely. Oh, we'll just let him walk all the way through. Okay. Oh, he's in real estate. Ah, oh, fair one. Isn't it a bit like how... Who was that guy? That, Thomas Gravison, for example, was absolutely minted, wasn't he? Our OPPDA is actually still solid. Okay, half time, kind of gash, but at the same time, we're also not losing to Espanyol, so I'm alright with that currently. Other than Charlie Mulgrew, nobody's had like a shocking game so far. Okay. Poker, really? Might still yell at them, though. They'll love that. There you go. Dion Dublin is indeed in real estate. <laughs> Plus, we're not fully match fit yet. If we actually didn't lose this... Uh, this is a different skin, uh, Barrel Castle. Exclamation mark skin, you'll get a download link. It's weird that my first stream, actually, I have not used the proper one like for any content. Here we go. Drill it across, B-Hitch. Ah! That could have been a better opportunity for us there. Sinclair! Oh! It just keeps doubling and doubling and doubling. Do you think low crosses might actually benefit us? Because... We're often in a position with those overloads where a nice early low cross could actually make a hell of a difference. But we also have scored quite a few headers so far, but that was against weaker opposition. Mulgrew's actually improved in the second half. What am I thinking? Maybe... Really old Stephen Fletcher on? Never has just done okay. What are we... Th we'll, get, we'll get McGrathen, at least. Since they're, oh, that's a really good pairing to have. Let's... Mulgrew's rating is actually coming up quite a lot now in the second half. Maybe it's just that mistake. It feels like players can recover from errors and actually seem to get their rating back, which is quite nice. Uh, we need to pick up a couple of extra DMs. I'm already noticing this. There is definitely a need for DMs in this team. Since we're going to be playing a, a double pivot, essentially. Oh! Oh, over the bar. Shoot less often. Yeah, they're not really taking on shots at all at the moment, but that might not be a bad idea. Okay, we're sort of picking it up a little bit now. Despite all this XG that Espanyol have had, we've barely really seen them threaten us yet. That was a bad pass from Regan Booty, honestly. They will now score here, admittedly. I have noticed that last five minutes of both halves tend to be quite powerful for conceding goals. Yeah. Like, they've apparently had a good game, but we've not seen much of their chances. So that seems to be okay. Watts had a bit of a struggle fest there, but they're a good side. We're still going to yell at them, obviously. Let's see if there's any DMs that come through. How much money have we got left? Because I spent quite a lot of our budget on the chappy from Brazil. Yeah, we just move a bit more of that across. We can still afford like a, a good freebie or a re like a 100k signing probably. Not yet, Stewie, but we should get our draw for the Conference League soon, which will have similar graphics, I suspect. Cool. Uh, Ward trial. Oh, I forgot Grant Ward was on trial. He's not a DM, though. Drum Sinclair. I always feel like we kind of have to sign up Sinclair, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, it's because... <laughs> <Get> <laughs> uh... So he has an agent. But I can't talk to him. Right. Right, let's see what he wants. Estimated wage unknown. Ah, yes. I see this has all been balanced absolutely perfectly. I see nothing wrong with that. Sorry, who were you playing for before? Released by Watford and wants 16 grand a week to play for Dundee United. There's no way he was even earning that at Watford, is there? No chance. So that's a bit broken. Good. 
McKeck. Oh, he was on trial as well. Actually, we kind of might have to sign up McEachern, honestly. What about McEachern? Right, let's try this differently. No, we still can't talk to his agent. Okay. Oh, God, not this. Is this going to come up every single time now? Right, squad player, McEachern. There we go. 2k a week. No yearly wage rise, though. Bump your appearance fee up a little bit. Two point two. That's okay. I kind of just need an extra DM, so we'll get him anyway. Off of a Smith. Uh, nope. You can complain all you want, buddy. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't think I made myself clear. Uh, Sing Jerome. Not happening. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'll, next. I'll, I'll have to... Maybe there's been an update push that I haven't seen so far. Oh, God, here we go. Right, okay. Let's, th let's see how this sort of stuff works, shall we? Ask Agent to resolve issue. Okay. Actually, let's ask Charlie Mulgrew first. Go on, big Charles. Okay. Oh. Right, so by asking Charlie Mulgrew, I now no longer have the ability to ask his agent to help with it. That seems asinine. Let's ask Smithy then. Uh... I should have checked whether he was influential or not. Oh, well, we're just going to be a pissed. A pissed? Yeah, Jerome just standing there watching. I'm going to make him watch, damn it. Hey, it's that one. Oh. Boom. Job Belly. Is he actually in the game now? So we've got oh, so many friendlies here. Should we just, like, assume that what we're doing... So you know what? Fuck it. It's a beta save. Let's just get up to the start of some league foot, some actual competitive football and then just decide... Ah! draws and then we can decide you know, if the tactics is good or not i would oh, yeah, suggest using sure. rdf's ones uh, yeah, through user not. they're not out the what they do carry over as far as i know into fm23 you can just dump the files in those are the ones i use anyway uh, almax thank you for the follow as well i know jack I, I wanted to do a scottish league save for so long ever since we did the natural team it's one good, uh, he said like <laughs> and winter, trying to ignore the fact this chat bullied him into doing refreshing. it <laughs> pay me my bills i will but also thank you for the follow Just lining up outside the room to speak to them as if Mulgrew leaves the room and says to the agent, okay, mate, your turn. Yeah. I can see the point of that. Let's just try the... Let's, let's, let's look at this lovely new draw, shall we? Uh, start draw. Have I hit... Okay, we have to click start draw twice. Okay, so first impressions. Screen... Looks beautiful. Okay. Hear me out, chat. I'm trying to think of an example here. Um, Mila Kunis. Beautiful. Lovely to look at. After a certain point in time, I would reach a point where I'd be like, okay, I need to stop looking at Mila Kunis now and look at Ashton Kutcher. Do you know Do you what know I mean? There's a train coming anytime soon. Oh, yes, yeah, so very soon. They are building it now. Does it like highlight us? The overview tab shows you what's happened already so far. Uh, you can advance to your team. So let's do that. Mad man. Mad man Adam Gaming. There was too many M's and A's. I got confused. I uh, know. So the timer setting apparently does not change. So we're going to be playing against. We're playing against. Hang on. So, did we get our draw then? Did it already do us? Oh, we're playing against Jewel Gordon or Hapo or Belsheva. So, right. Advance to end. I love that. And then you have to click advance twice. Next question. Follow up question. Um, why exactly are you not highlighted on this screen? Or in fact, visible where, where are we on this screen at the top are we match six so where's match why are you not highlighted at the top or if you're put into the correct way where where are we we were playing jour gordon also, why is it that all we were playing an and or, weren't we? It's not show because you've got possible two teams. Yeah, but then why would it not just not show and or like or the slash like it said on the last screen?
He's re but why is it showing me round two then? <laughs> I'm not, if I'm not in this round, why is it showing me this? <laughs> what do I care about the round two? I would quite like to see the outcome of the draw we just did. Um, Cooper, do not hate point is, me. to I me, after you finish the draw, it shouldn't be showing you the draw for a round you're not in. It should be showing you the draw for the round you are in. No? Oh, that's not good, is it? Sunshine, thank you for the follow. That's just not idea. Also, why did it go back to cards there? Did I accidentally click the wrong button? Oh, it's a different guy called Chrysler. Yeah, it's it's too slow. It needs to be so much faster. Oh, this is the guy from earlier. He's actually pretty good, to be honest. It is fully style over substance, that. Yeah, unfortunately. Intercity CF. I've never heard of them, Westy. Speaking of which, there's another team in Paris called Paris 13 Atletico. Uh, I actually have a save file knocking about where they're in the second tier in, Sp in France, if anyone's interested, because that seems like a fun little save. Right, there's a lot of players here. Are they all... Ah, look, that's from Loans, Loans, Loans. Hilariously, it's Robbie Diaz. Or Dees. That's one of the guys that you type to look at, and he's actually available on Loans, Loans, Loans. Reluctant to let this player leave due to his... So just to clarify, the specific scouting assignment I set up to find me players to loan. The, the, the whole purpose of this particular scouting assignment here was set up to find me players to... Oh, wait, hang on. What? In progress. Wait, hang on. Sorry. Wait, was that the wrong one? Maybe I get the wrong one. No, I didn't. I'm confused. Why is he not showing up there? I'll complete it. Nope. What? Probably just buy. Oh, yeah, no, no. That's not my point. I'm sure we could. I, we absolutely could. But my point is, I'm trying to test out features of the game and use them as sort of as they're intended, if you like. So I set up a scouting assignment. A, sorry, a recruitment focus to find me specifically players to loan. And now he's not appearing at all. Scout for a But then why would it show up as here? Ah, no, 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 no. Look, look type. Re requested reports. So he kind of matches that. I don't know how he matches that, by the way. <laughs> Considering it literally said that they wouldn't let him come to us on loan. That would make... It's because I specifically requested a scout. So that's a little bit shaky there as far as that to me if if he's not been requested reports is totally fair that makes sense there but to me if, if, they've, if they've disregarded a player it shouldn't show up then there as them coming through as that recruitment focus when they clearly aren't suitable for that recruitment focus that's just incredibly confusing and it's stuff like that that worries me about this new setup i do quite want to sign this guy to be fair but um i'm glad a lot of you guys are really enjoying this skin um I'm, I was a bit worried at first it was showing too much information, but now I think it's actually going to be perfect. Breezy, with the 22 Afternoon. months. Hope you had a good time at the dog show last weekend. We met so many good boys. It was bloody awesome. It really, really was. I'm surprised I didn't run into you. Did you go Saturday or Sunday? He's very good. Uh, that reminds me, I, I still owe you gifted subs, Breezy, <laughs> from buying me that Uber. He's decent. Plus second tier, right? You, you've got it. We met on the Saturday. Oh, we went on the Saturday. That sucks. I'm surprised we didn't run into you. Let's let's try. Let's try and make an offer. Zero. I mean, I'll take him for zero. It's not going to happen, of course. That's really what. 250k. I could stretch that. Oh, so basically, with the size sports, the problem with him is that we need to get another DM. Just trying to put all the dogs. Hell yeah. Now, he, he is good, but we need another DM right now rather than another CM, especially since I just bought Jack Fitzwater. So, yeah, the, the SI Sports, sorry, the SI Sports thing, basically, it's um, it's Data Hub stuff, basically. Data Hub stuff will appear on their page as well. But obviously, we're too close to the start of the season for that to happen yet. Any DMs in here? Mez... Hey, you eat it. Do you know what, right? Would I want to sign a former Fulham player? 
emphatic yes, but he'd be way too expensive, wouldn't he? Seven to nine K a week. Cornelius at Motherwell. All right. Uh, this guy. Oh, yeah. 850k a, okay. 850p a week. Yeah, no, Saz, it's going to be... I'm hoping it's going to be sick because from what I can see, it just looks so cool to have that information there. He should be cheap, right? 100... Oh, he's not going to be cheap at all, is he? Unless they have him for that price, then I think he's going to be way out of our price range. Yeah, I can't pay 600 grand for him. He's way out of our price range. Job. Um. Yeah, he is. He is in the game. 16 years old. The bookmark feature is insanely good. Oh, I love it. It's the first step towards being able to actually put stuff on this that I've always wanted. Let's have a look at Leighton Stewart. He's listed for loan. It's on cheap wages. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime? That's more like oh, it. Yes, yeah, so very soon. Do yeah, I want to pay seventy-five pound a week? Yes, I probably bastard do. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, ooh, uh, Choka pick, Choka pick little. Thanks so much for the follow. We'll try and get Leighton Stewart in because I just like him anyway. This guy would be quite expensive. In fact, he doesn't even have a wage demand, which is weird. I just signed a new contract. Fair enough. Uh, so, Hawker, we have like um, a, a channel point lookup for just looking at players all the time because otherwise we can get a bit bogged down. Are they Shane Heskey? Oh, he's a mez. We could have a right tackling. Just want to see if there's any more DMs in here. Who's this guy? You see this? Ah, he's not really a DM. I mean, he kind of I is. Open my own hotel. What about Noza Igibor? He's not bad, actually. Chappers, thank you for the follow. The 2K one, yeah. He could play there. He's pretty good. But what do you want loads of money? Ooh. If we just got him... If I get, again, did a sort of cheeky on him, where it's like three 3k a week, but his appearance fee is like three, three grand. I don't know if he'll go for that. I love it. Just... Takes the full appearance fee, but won't like negotiate on his actual wage. Okay, that's. And then we get Leighton Stewart in. I'm actually okay with that at the moment. Nigerian international. Yeah, which means I can't do the thing with him. Unfortunately, Williot. I love that first name, Williot. Svedberg. 2.6k. I like this actually their last club as well. That's kind of a nice little feature in there as well. Problem is, we can't see much about him at the moment. And I suspect that he's probably given that he's... Oh, he's only 18, actually. Worth a scout report at this point. Well, no harm in doing that. Martial. He's a bit good. Just, just a little bit good. Carlos Puyo at £600 a week. Really? That's pretty good, actually. Mo Model Citizen is always good. Ah, last transfer. I'm just... Every... I'm literally finding new features of this skin the more we get into it. I think it'll be a particularly cool once we actually get into the season. Jamie McLeod. Uh, oh, am I spelling McLeod wrong? I am now. <laughs> Where am I? No, I definitely am. I'm not seeing any Jamie McLeod. Am I spelling this wrong? I'm not seeing a Jamie McLeod, sadly. That many I play. I assume they have. I'll get back to that one in a sec. I did the net. We did Will Still. We did Kevin Ramsey. We did that. We did that. We did that. I'll do Yuri Krot next. There's no way he's actually in the database. Kurt Zuma. Not quite what I had in mind there. Uh, one of them's a lovely old gentleman and one of them's a cat kicker. I'll refund you points for that. I'll leave the McLeod one knocking about at the same time. Playing against, oh, it's going to be massively tough. I think our best bet is to just try and come third. Robson Carney. Oliver Rathbone. I kind of like. Oh, there's Fernando Avala. I reckon we still scout him. I 
Just does. I reckon so. This scouting screen for me is just a mess at the moment. And by that, I don't mean because of the skin. I just mean that the way that everything functions is just super messy and gives you so little information to then make decisions based on. Yeah, Ovalar, he doesn't look great, does he? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, right. Now they're going to complain. Like, who even are you? Oh, great. Doesn't want to be here, though. Well, have you considered that we don't want to be shit? Uh, still not going to let me. But then I always just go, very productive. And then they're like, what? <laughs> Sasa's fixed the noise. Yeah, no, he has. Um, It's just, obviously, I can't update the skin midstream because I have to go and re-download it and stuff. But no, I'm sure that'll be fine. So we're not getting Jerome Sinclair, but we are going to get Leighton Stewart, which probably help us a little bit. I just want to get up to... Well, free transfer. Mate, you've got, like... Actually, you don't have one year left on your contract. That's a pain. Uh, Alright, I don't really want to sell him. But if we've got no choice. Okay, we're getting George McEachern. Bit more budget there. And if we get the other guy... McEachern's actually pretty solid. If we get McEachern and we get the Nigerian fella, we'll be solid. Although I could easily drop this down a little bit. Get us a bit of extra budget back. I'll leave the league one as it is. Sometimes they get pissed if you don't. Oh, you're not in the game? Okay, I'll just refund you then. Right, sick. All right, so I'll sell to Vigo. We'll just do... We'll insta this one. So we don't have to worry about it too much. I'll just let the team... Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I'll let my assistant pick whoever he wants for this one. Even though he's an idiot. Watch us lose like 7-0 now. Go straight to the second round. Damn it, does that mean we miss all the good ones? That's annoying. Wetnical difficulties. Thank you for the 28 months. Still nabbed a one-all draw off of Celta Vigo. That's interesting. That's with some... Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I think our keeper's quite good. Yeah, they keep moving booty out. Obviously, when we get to full league games, I won't be moving booty out. I will be keeping booty firmly in. Lo uh, no, I want to keep Mikinson around. Name of the skin? Uh, Saz, what? Is the skin got a name? Or are we just calling it Saz23 at the moment? I think my board hate me. <laughs> yep, most of them do. You've got to keep the booty in there. Young prospects are potentially at the expense of the club's own homegrown talent. All right, let's have a look who our homegrown talent strikers are, shall we? That's annoying. I think Leighton Stewart will be fine for us. She needed some extra bodies. Saz23. We'll call it that. It's fine. What's called exclamation mark skin? Petition for Saz to change the name to exclamation mark skin for the memes. So it sounds like I've just signed Redoya. Uh, I'll just let him change it to whoever he wants. They're putting Fitzwater in midfield. Oddly. Yeah, actually, how many of you are Scottish football fans? And is that why you're here? I really don't like this, but... Give me 200k, at least. I see. Well, we've got no choice. Love is going to leave. Ah, we're going to get Igabor. <laughs> How dare you. I actually think this guy's quite solid. If I quickly get him working on... Um, I could probably... Let me guess. I could probably do that from in here, can't I? Of course I bastard can. Of course I bastard can. Oh, Saz, you legend. I can adjust his goddamn training focus. It's on his main on his main page. That's outrageous. Love it. Um, I'll get him on the ball winning midfielder for now. I can't even change the intensity. Oh, just little tiny things like that I adore. You met him. What was he like? What was, what was Noza like? Smith requires payoff to complete. What the fuck? Loss of a... You wanted to leave! You wanted to leave the club and now you want me to pay you to leave... I am extremely annoyed. Honestly, half the things I've seen... Half of the things I've enjoyed about FM23 so far have been things from Saz's skin that should be in the game by default. Kieran, thank you so much for the six months. Got so many resubs today. Ah, oh, dear. 
Yeah, his agent is Lord Farquaad. What were we expecting, really? Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Negotiate. All right. I'll give you 10 grand and you can piss off. How dare he want a compensation for, for the move that he is forcing? All right, but have you considered 10K? He's willing to come down from 18 to 11, but not to 10. And it just goes straight from green to red. Great. Glad that worked super, super well. This is perfect. Don't worry, chat. I see nothing wrong with this. Good, sweet Mike. Panel trait. Of course there is. I think I actually had that set up, didn't I? Uh, wait, I can't go with that. Uh, I'm trying to think where I'd put it. Oh, I don't need a second career tabs one. Oh, it's only for the lower right panel. Oh, okay. In that case, I can put the track. Hello. I can put it in. Fuck's sake, Matt. I can put it in this one. That's training report. Uh, player training. There we go. Yeah, because then you can you can see the career stats here anyway. Love it. I can just pin it. I can pin it. Told chat about my jumper. Yes, of course I told. That's not the right one. For those of you that missed it early, uh, classic football shirts have uh, football. They have these Christmas jumpers. Please enjoy it. This is all I can say. And Pog was a lovely lady. Uh, team selection. We'll solution selection advice again. I'm just going to pick randoms here. Yeah. I'll let them pick who they want until we actually get to the start of the season because I'm going to change the entire squad around anyway. No, the, I, I completely forgot payoffs were even a thing, honestly. Oh, who's that, Tiva? So I've never really encountered them much. It's so weird that he forced a move. We just beat Genoa. This tack... Um, has anyone noticed how in almost every game we've played so far against bigger sides, we've been massively swamped on XG against, but we're doing a really good job at keeping the goals out? Interesting. Uh, so the little wheel, it's basically to do with tactical familiarity, Artsy. It's a throwback to like old school FM. Uh, actually, that's why Sass has added it. Pulisic. Let's, let's check out Pulisic. That should hopefully be fine. Yeah, they knew I meant Ulisic. Oh, France. Yeah, no, you're right, Stewie. Just, I just agree with you. Um, France 98 Cockerel. Quality mascot. I can't really remember much else. There was the 2002 ones I remember sort of. This tactic might have... It might just be because of the sim-only stuff. Sorry, because of the like uh, instant result thing, but it's weird. I wonder if I've just broken it after like one attempt. Do you know Perich or Dino? Oh, of course, Perich. Yeah, he was great for my, um, my, on my Dino save I was playing on Thursday. Friday, rather. World Cup content. I was thinking about doing some individual streams where we tried to win the World Cup with every team or tried to play the World Cup through with every single team that's in it. Make it into, like, YouTube videos. Uh, Red Zone, I'm going to be brushing up. So we should, might even be able to get Red Zone during the week, honestly. I'm tempted to do, like, a Wednesday night Red Zone stream. He is quite, yeah, his jumping reach is either outrageous or outrageous and a little bit better than outrageous. You'll love to see it. So, right, okay, finally, our first game is against Killy. Newly promoted Killy as well. So, Johnson wants Smith. That's the same amount. Right, okay, right. That's a better bid. You better not want to pay off this time, Liam. Okay, that's stupid. Loss of earn. That doesn't make any fucking sense. You agreed to the contract. If you didn't want to lose earnings, maybe you should have not left the club. Is this going to happen with every time we try to sell a player now? All right, let's just try 10 again. This time he goes for it. <laughs> Lord Farquhar's obviously been back to Duloc and has had a, a smack on the head, apparently. Going to pull his legs off like the gingerbread man. Right, um, definitely not doing this draw. Oh. Hang on. I was under the impression that you had cool draws for all competitions. I see. I thought you still had the same cool draw mechanic. Apparently not. I swear I saw the FA Cup had a good draw. I played through an FA Cup and had a good draw. Nothing cool. How dare you, EMPD? It's the coolest competition that there ever did was. 
Yeah, I saw it in the FA Cup. Ah, so it's another one of these mechanics that they bring in but don't put in certain leagues for no reason. Yeah, apparently fuck Scotland, eh? God. Still doing poverty draws up here in the north. Those cheeky wee Sassanacs down south with their lovely draws. Uh, we'll just leave things as they are, I suppose. Tweaking graphical. I think that would be very tough. For me, yeah, for me. Oh, God. Jacob Comerford. Oh, oh he's on loan. Uh, in that case, yeah, we'll recall him. Still no deadline day. I'm sure that'll break things up. Yes, yeah, so we're not even going to get fancy cup draws in my main save then, are we? Other than when we're in Europe, of course. That seems a bit silly. I was under the impression that they were, simply because when I played the FA Cup games with Fulham, it was fine. Does the song say the same? Yeah, we are doing that, Tiva. That doesn't make any fucking sense. It's very quiet, but listen to the song in the background. Any fucking sense. Love that. That's extremely good. Even the song agreed with me. You know things have gone wrong when that's happening. Um, yeah, it's going to take me so much time to get used to these lone, these scouting screens here because it's just... There's just so much, inf so much information, but also so little. You need a bit of Rod Stewart. Exactly. I kind of just want... What a bit of this action. No draw is complete without a rod doing a bit of this. Needs a good rod in. Oh, we're pressing forward. Well, he's quite good, isn't he? Would you like a trial? Yael? Now just think of that O Sleeper song. Hush, Yael. Molla Wagway. Damn. Molla be good. I am just stacking the team out with old people, I realise. Jack Sprong is a cool name. Oh, there's Svedberg. Let's see if any of these are actually... Diego Tardelli? He's still playing. Big up Diego. That's true, yeah. If he's ex-Watford, he's not going to want to go anywhere near us, is he? Any, like, really high potential youngsters, potentially. Other than the obvious ones. Where they have no intention of talking to us at all, I suspect. Matthew Craig! No way. Actually, he's not bad. He could be a good loan. Perhaps. Hey, is... Wait. Hang on. What? Ah. Right, they're going to let me pay his wage now. There we go. I think I could do that. Just get another DM in. If they only want to pay... Oh, shit. I forgot that they're going to play him as a midfielder. Don't you know to keep... Not in this save, they bloody don't. <laughs> Our keeper's been absolutely stacked in this save. He's done amazing things so far. Yeah, we probably won't be able to do that specific one there, Marius, for obvious reasons. Wants, like, two wages. Uh, Amadou Traore plays for Khan. This is a different guy. Oh, no, it's the same guy. He's already got a club, and he's on 3k a week. Injury risks. Vucevic. Who? Oh, a new scout. We see the guy. I, oh, who's the guy I picked up? So we're getting you. Uh, language course. Recommend a signing. God knows how well that'll go. But uh, there's a game there. I want to play a game. An actual match. Watch us get absolutely twatted now in our first proper match. After looking really good in games. But that's how you learn, isn't it? You learn by doing. And you mostly learn by losing. So we're getting Matthew Craig as well. Loans are just so useful. Can I just say, I love this, this little Gmail bit here. <laughs> and how much this has been made to look like Twitter. Um, that's actually kind of cool. I don't, I don't mind a bit of that. Uh, you got to go get Mutter Manioka. That's the guy. Uh, Matt O'Reilly. Mr. Wait, where's Matt O'Reilly? Have I spelled... Oh, yeah, because it's spelt with an I. There it is. He's at Celtic. Oh, Matt O'Reilly's so good. I'm so annoyed that... Hang on, he's Danish this time. 
I swear, every save I do, Matt O'Reilly has a different nationality. I've had him be Norwegian, English, Danish. He just picks a random one, it seems. He was definitely Norwegian when I had him on my other save. Which save was it I had, Matt O'Reilly? As far as good looks, then. Um, so we have a, a channel point lookout for stuff like that, Talis. But I imagine very good. If he's as good as he was the last time I used him. Okay. Okay, these... Matt, Matt Craig, actually. If I get him on the right training here, just get him sitting deep. I know that Spurs are going to hate me for this, but we do kind of need... He's got that tackling ability, the marking. We've got guys that can sit in those roles now, which is great. Yeah, well, I've had him play, like, be English. I've had him be Norwegian. He was like a Norwegian international on my other saves. He's just all over the shape. I'm so annoyed that he left Fulham. I feel like we've missed out on a player there. Uh, fuck it. We'll... Oh, oh, okay. Nah. Come on, I want Darren Watson. No, we're keeping... Oh, no, I was going to do that, wasn't I? Shit, I don't mind. Was it Notts County I had him? He was really good for Notts County. I think that's where he declared for um, Norway in that save. Daniel O'Shaughnessy. Ah, you mean the, the, the wonderfully finished Daniel O'Shaughnessy. I had him on my last beta save. That's probably the last time I actually used him. Wait, he plays for Karlsruhe now? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. I had no idea he was at Karlsruhe. He was on my... I had him on my beta save last year because we did HJK. Who was that really tall um, centre-back I had from, from Bayern? Oh, no. Tiago. This is what I was afraid of. Oh, He's never going to play, is he? My car. Uh, I've never heard of him, unfortunately, Silent Chief, so I couldn't possibly tell you. Uh, Healy Williamson, thank you for the follow. Jamie Lawrence, that's the guy, yeah. He's probably way better this year as well, isn't he? He plays for Madgeburg. And he's on loan, which we can't do much about it. Damn it. He was just unbelievable for my HJK team. Respond. Oh, I've got to register a squad. That'd be fine. Uh, Matty Craig, yeah, I probably would like Matty Craig. Does Dundee just like... Dundee United just not have any of their own players? Ross Craig... Hang on, you're... Surely I can register Matty Craig. Who am I going to get rid of? Uh... Ah, that's annoying, actually. Leighton Stewart can't be registered either. Europe's going to be tough. Two keepers... Note to self, pay attention to things like this before... Uh, Peter Port, damn it. Oh, well. Sorry, Matty. <laughs> Sorry, Leighton Stewart and Matty Craig. Two of our loanies. Oopsie. Scott McMahon, it could be. It could be. Umar Nias. Where is old Umar Nias these days? Oh, Ross County. I did not know that. I always rated him. Unlike Ronald Koeman. He's a solid player. Obviously, he won't sign for us at the moment because... Wait, I could scout... Oh, that's why it wasn't showing up because I have to scout... We'll scout him anyway. So we're going to be without Nevers. Luckily, we signed all these extra guys. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. Will this tactic actually work? Contract clause reminder. He hasn't played any games yet. EPMD and Rabola. Thank you for the follows. The double follow. Okay, right. Now let's build this team out properly. What do I... At Oh, eh? this isn't where I parked my car. Help. Uh, help. Oh, that scared the crap out of me there. Right, so I want what in the middle, an Aku on the left, Cooper, and do not hate me. Leighton Stewart on the right? Surely he's right footed, right? Yeah, that's cool. Um, oh, Richie and Big Fat Flynn and Pap. All the follows all at the same time. If you have enjoyed so far, drop a follow. That'd be a gorgeous. Mulgrew and oh, Levitt. Yeah, so we want Booty sure. in here, obviously. Because yeah, Charlie Mulgrew would be better off elsewhere. McGrath. Levitt has to start. Freeman is fine. Fitzwater and Graham. Oh, I tell the swamp be hit. Oh, I'm missing here. It's just a... There we go. Holy oh, shit. Oh. Uh, wait. <laughs> what the dog do? Oh, this is Great a name. My car. That's an extraordinary name. Thank you for the follow. Tarasine, thank you for the follow. I'm expecting Butter Dog to appear at any moment. Right. This bench is actually kind of stacked. Who am I missing? Nevis is injured. Mulgrew needs to be on the bench at least. This is quite an okay team, you know. To have the likes of Charlie Mulgrew on the bench. Wait, do I even want Mulgrew on the bench? Isn't Mulgrew the 
No, oh, no, he's, yeah, they're all kind of good, aren't they? <laughs> butter dog. The dog with the butter. Butter dog. Hawks, McEachran, Meekins, and Craig. This is a good side. We just had to use all of our striking options. That's true, but then also with Graham and Fitzwater. Ah, yeah, you're right. Ross Graham's not the quick, not the tallest, is he? Fitzwater is. Ish, but hmm. That's a good point. In fact, I think Mulgrew... The reason that Mulgrew was in, because he was in midfield, wasn't he? So I think Mulgrew should play over Ross Graham. Give us a bit of extra height on the set pieces. I'm a little bit concerned about our strike force, if I'm honest. But um, one thing I would also say is, you know, Reese Nelson, Mr. Five Finishing Reese Nelson. I had him for my Dino Zagreb team get 21 goals for an XG of 12 with five finishing. It just shows you how completely pointless finishing is as an attribute, it seems like. Right. Watch us get absolutely T-watted here, is my prediction. Uh, no number 12, thank you. It's been okay, or who's been? We've um, signed Regan Booty, so in a way, we've already won. Any save that features Regan Booty is a save that will be successful. How do they have recent form when we don't? We're the favourites. I suppose we would be. They are newly promoted, aren't they? It'd be good if we could start with a win. Other players seem to be on my side a bit more now, which is nice. That's something, I guess. Right, okay. I just love that this is not... glitching out. Okay, let's do this. Okay, they're playing... Oh my god, look at this system they're playing. No idea how we're going to break that down. Ah, yes, because they've been all those group stages. You're right, yeah. That make they already have a booking. Terrible weather here. Okay, force them long. That's good. Win the aerial challenge. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Come on. There we go. Well done, Regan. This is why Regan Booty's in the team. He's there to mop up after the mess. Freeman with a horrendously big touch. But here we go. Tony Watt through the middle. Go on, have a pig on it, Tony. Oh, good effort. Okay, that's a good start. Look at the possession, by the way. I was not expecting that. Just the 70 odd percent possession so far. A few little chances to go with it. We're actually controlling the game quite nicely there. I should probably switch this to... Actually, I'll turn off match momentum. We don't need two latest scores, do we? I'll put... Um, Dundee United Stats. I want to see our players more importantly than theirs. We can figure out what the hell to put in one of these in a minute. I'll put match momentum in that one, to be fair. Time disappear when you pause. I just, I've, I found a way to dilate time beyond it all. It's been a slow start from us, but we're getting there. Possession is good. So this says remove stay on feet. I think that might have been a mistake. I want to try and get stuck in. I think it's fine against bad sides, but I think um, we might need to be a bit more aggressive. Watch us can see like seven penalties. Right, well, that was a great first half. Passing network. A lot of that from us. They're completely disjointed. At least we're a bit consistent with our passing. Struggle for possession in the opposition's half. Ah, so we're getting a lot of meaningless possession. Well, they had a massive chance right before half time, apparently. We just didn't see it. OPPDA is still really good. Bring on the yeah, we'll just persist with this at the moment. Exactly. Time doesn't mean anything in Scotland. Martin Schwaj, thank you so much for the follow. I hope I've pronounced that right. Ash said, Arizona. Ah, let's try this. Ah, sorry, Jack. Defenders having a good day. Regan Boots having a good day. Strikers are... Leighton Stewart struggling, and he's apprehensive as well. So he might be my substitution in the second half, honestly. The first one, anyway. Yeah, Ash, I mean, you can't really... He's a centre... Then again, we could press him harder. With that he was set to never press. Yeah, Stuart's really not exactly showing up for the fans here, is he? So we've been in the ascendancy most of the game. We just haven't managed to create a great deal just yet. It might be just their system. Oh, Stuart's really struggling now. Wow, what the hell happened in the first five minutes of the second half? I might just get him off now, honestly. Get Stephen Fletcher on. He massively dropped there. It seems like we're shooting from range a lot. We'd have to be in order to create that little off of that many shots. Here's a fun fact. Well, have we actually had a highlight yet in this game? Two blocks from here. Asking for a friend. Ali Bear, thank you very much for the follow. Well, if nothing else, we have certainly not managed to shuck that stereotype of Scottish football being dull because 
we are making sure of it. Uh, right. Luckily, we've got an insanely large bench. That's what those two have. Booty's an, booty can RPM it. Maybe even put him in there. That'll have to do. <laughs> this has got full on nil nil written all over it at the moment. We've controlled the game, but I haven't actually done a great deal with it. Let's just uh, try the low crosses and turn that off for a sec. Just open up a little bit. Stop trying to overplay. Wow. What a game. What a game. I'm so glad that we made sure to get through to our first league game of the season. What an absolute fixture. Of all the games that have ever happened, this is definitely one of them. Yeah, I think it's the Killy formation as well probably is something else. <laughs> we didn't lose, and we didn't concede either. So that's that effort continues. Uh, it's exclamation mark skin. It's one of the games of all time. Yeah, what are the sub rules? Is it five or three? We're unbeaten. I thought we chat. We are unbeaten, chat. What more could you possibly want at this point? Luckily, we get to play against some Swedish people next. Trial coming to an end. How much money do I even have left here? Eh, it's not a bit, you know. But the problem with Gio Santos, well, is the obvious, the work rate. He's not going to do well as a pressing forward, I suspect. High possession. It feels like we weren't doing a lot with it, but I do wonder if it's because of the way that Kilmarnock's set up. I do like there's more variation in the way that oppositions are setting up, though. Gio's too old to work. Uh, okay, so apparently they've just decided that we don't need as many coaches. Always good. Can't cancel assignment on a player you're scouting. Oh, really? Why? Sure. Mm. Are we sure? Or is that maybe a glitch? Well, hello. I thought his name was Patrick Bummer for a second there. That font just threw me. Um, so he's already plays for us. We probably don't need to know more about him. What about... <laughs> Anyone fancy a bit of Fernando Lorente? With 15 work rate? He's not quick, but buddy hell, he's going to work hard. Ah, he's already under a bid. Which means I can't even offer him a trial, apparently. Oh, okay, I'm not allowed to offer him a trial. Oh, he's already set to sign for Newcastle. Newcastle Jets, I should stress. Newcastle Jets, very important distinction there. There's this guy, Nicholas de Preville. Hey, I tell you what, he's got a bit of work rate about him. He might actually be... He's quite tasty. Star play. That does not bode well. Yeah. Psst. I should have known, really. You're a fullback, which would be quite useful to replace Liam Smith, actually. Oh, holy God. Unknown. Let's ask his... Oh, no, we can't do that. It's weird that it's unknown. Is it because I don't have him scouted enough? Extensive knowledge. Right. Not for sale. Hmm. We'll see about that. See how not for sale you actually are. 500 grand. Oof. His wage is already quite high, though, at Sporting Cristobal. So he's going to want like 7, 8K at least to join us. Same with this guy here, unfortunately. He's already on 6K, so he's never going to take a wage cut to join us. Calvin Ramsey, though, on a loan, perhaps, if he's not too badly injured. Oh, sure. We'll just pay 7 million. No, thank you. Nah, probably not going to pay 7 million quid to loan him for half for a season. God, Joe Bellingham's a bit good, isn't he? He needs to be continued scouting. Uh, Svedberg. How badly is that injured? A virus. Currently receiving medical treatment for a virus suffered in training. <laughs> That face when you suffer a virus in training. Well, that's a bug. Yes, it is. Um, it's actually a virus, uh, Paris. <laughs> Man licked a football and accidentally got facial herpes. I mean, how does that work? He sneezed on me. Ah, <laughs> oh, the tick's got you. <laughs> you suddenly got Lyme disease. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's a new one. 
Oh, here's Rocco Vata. Oh. Yeah, that work rate's probably a bit low for me. That's Moloch. What's Tardelli? That's the same one as before, isn't it? Matteo Dibucci. I forgot he was still around. You're going to hear me say a lot that. 37 year old Dibucci. Bashir Humphreys. Go on, show me some. St oh, Fernando. I want more information on Fernando, damn it. Stephen Humphreys. He's on loan, though. Teo Eden. It's too expensive for us. Andre Wisdom. Wow. I forgot about him. Oh, it's Yael. How's old Yael getting on? I'll tell you what, he might be worth a pickup if he's not ludicrously expensive, which he probably is going to be. But we definitely do need another striker. Ah. On appeal. Okay, so we'll get him on appeal. That's fine. What's my budget looking like? That'll be fine. It wouldn't be me if we weren't signing overpriced, expensive Brazilian strikers who are like 37 years old now, would it? And he's only 33. It's not completely over the hill yet. Just mostly. You can sort of see the top of the hill. But then you get Sundance stream second down a cardigan. That's where it's even better. Better for everybody. Oh, we already looked up the neck, but I'll show you him again. Uh, he is a bit special. Like, does that jumping reach combine? He's a very good player. Uh, obviously, we can't loan him because... But what did Benfica want? They wanted some moon money from us to actually loan him out. Save goals. Basically, just have a bit of fun while we wait for the full release, really. And we could try and win the league. <laughs> It'd be nice. Oh, God. Not, uh, I'm going to skip the draw because, honestly, that was embarrassing. If only we could sign that guy from uh, Club Brugge. Oh, who's me? Thank you for the 13 months. 13 not on unlucky number. Exactly. It's a very lucky number indeed. Uh, I'm going to leave that squad the same, actually. I want to see how we get on against Jules Gordon. We, we beat Genoa. Albeit, well, not... Oh, God, not again. It's fine. We're getting Gael. We don't need him. Okay, this is fun. Dundee expect the board... To, sorry, to expect the team to draw. Hoping for a draw, but if there was a winner, it would be Jules Gordon. Okay. Hope to see Thiago Neves make his debut. Me too, lads. Me too. Come on, I want Watson. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I'm fine with that. JL's delayed. That's fine. He'll get cancelled. That's fine. Main save. Main save is going to be MTK Budapest building a nation with Hungary. And it's going to be Poggy. Hopefully. So Leighton Stewart can't play, which is fine, because then we get, I guess, Stephen Fletcher. Get some match fitness built up in some of these chaps as well. Oh, I want to start Neves, actually, instead of McGrath for this one. Even though he... Ugh. I'm going to have McGrath on the bench, though, instead of Ross Graham. Just to make sure we can bring him in. Are you hungry for success? Damn straight I am. Just hungry in general, honestly. Starting on the next clip compilation. See that one on TikTok? Get that one straight up. Oh. Yeah, the clip compilation came out shorter than I was expecting. It's just that a lot of the clip... Oh, did I put on the bench? Oh, I see. Right, it's because I can't see the sub bench, can I? Uh, so we'll have Ross Graham. And we'll have... Might as well put the keeper back on there then. Sick. Funny new gen names. Ooh. Slim Ben Saeed is pretty sick, but it's not Dick Bacon, is it? It's just not quite a Dick Bacon. Or Rick Rolls. Rick Rolls might then be one of my favourites ever. Outside top five ranked leagues. Second division European sides. Second division outside top five ranked leagues. Ooh. So... Second, a second division side in one of them. Fat on cake is also pretty solid. I'm not sure. Yeah, I use DF11. It's a brand new version as well. It's upgraded. Bromo Poikino would be fun, yeah. Or even someone like... um. Yeah, Bromo Poikino is a very good shout. Right, let's play this game. Let's play a European match. Only 79 substitutes. Did, what? Hang on. Oh! Oh, it's because I didn't actually, um... I realised I didn't actually ask my assistant, did I? I just went into it. Right, there we go. We, we had a Pablo Escobar on our last save. Uh, he was a Colombian goalkeeper. Signed for Rangers in the end. Uh, Arturos Malia. Thank you very much for the follow. 
Visible Krakow. And if you could get a database that allows Polonia Vorshevar uh, to be managed, they're fun. But then I do have a massive bias on the Polonia one. Just because of my previous save with them. That was great fun. Okay. Right. We're going to... Oh. Okay. Liking this. I love how much it actually fills the screen. It uses the screen real estate. I had the music turned off because I wasn't sure on the copyright stuff. t what? We just got twat up front. A tier list of all my safe There's so many of them. I can turn it back on in a minute. No, we don't want Sure Gordon to win. They are icky, bro. Oh, I just realized I have to push a button here. Sorry. I'm not used to having to do that. I didn't realize that was that screen. Here we go. Yeah, I'll turn the music on for it uh, for the next game. It does look kind of nice, doesn't it? It is pretty nice. The reason from Sunday... Uh, so the main... I mean, there's several reasons. One, it meant that Pog and I actually could have a day off together, which I feel like is important because I feel like I've barely seen her in like two years. Secondly, the problem with streaming on Saturday mornings was that it would always conflict with the early Premier League kickoff and that then is bad. Plus, a lot of people go out on Saturdays because they're going to the football. So there's just statistically less football on the Sundays. So it felt for me like Sunday was a better day to be streaming on. In addition, having it an hour early means that it doesn't conflict with any of the Premier League games on the Sunday or F1 when that's on. So I felt for me it was like the perfect time to stream on the weekend. So that's the reason for the change, basically. And I think today it's been fairly successful, I'd say. Plus, I think it's actually probably better for some of the Aussies as well, or, and the Kiwis, because of the, t the change there probably helps too. It means you can almost treat it like a breakfast show, <laughs> I suppose. Oh, nicely done. Oh, what a pick out. Oh, nearly. Okay, sensible, decent start from us there. No, I've not seen a red card yet, but then we have only played like three games. So the, the, the true evil. Oh, sorry, so true evil. Thank you very much for the follow. So possession's not been with us in this game, interestingly. Cooper, do not hate me. I am familiar with the trying to focus place in the middle since we don't actually have recognized wide players. Unwilled beast. Or yeah, I was going to say unwilled beast there, but there we go. Thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, we should probably put some Yeah, we might have to go to back to get stuck in, I think. I say back to as if we were playing it the first time. Well, there you go. I see probably exactly my point. I think Sunday just works better for me. Okay, here we go. Freeman coming forward. Ah, he's lost that. Some of the poor touches are going to get super frustrating this year, I suspect. But it's going to work both ways, so it's fine. That was just a bad clearance. I see Primate. Thank you for the follow. Here we go. Come on. Right, Levis got to find the right pass. That's a great ball. Tony, what? Oh. We're not getting a lot of the ball, but we look like we're using it slightly better, at least. Esvo uh, Las Vegas. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I'm going to turn get stuck in on. I think that... Part of the reason we're not getting so much possession as well, potentially. We're just not getting in on them enough. Yeah, the new animations I actually was not expecting to like as much as I did, but now that I've played it a bit more... Oh, look at this. This means we're going to concede. What in the hell was that set up there? That was super weird. I just knew we were going to concede off of that because of the weirdness with the... Okay, we're doing it for this. Why were all their players running around and then our players just randomly ran forward up the pitch for no reason there? What was that about? Like, three of our guys just ran towards them for no reason. Why are we... Oh, okay, right. Get, get it from every angle, lads. Gotta be sure on that one. Yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't have predicted powers on that, but that was just a weird one. Right, here we go. Got the ball back again. Okay, what? Oh, we now, now, yes, yes, now he's moved inside. Go on, Tony. Find a cross for us or something. And Aku can knock it down. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. They're just going to launch this, aren't they? Yep. Okay, that's fine. There's plenty of bodies around him. That, look at that save from the keeper. Bugged in international management. To be fair, that would imply I'd have to do international management, which, of course, I will not be doing because they've done, they've done nothing to it. Is this just a normal save, Matt? Uh, depends what you mean by that. <laughs> hmm. That was a weird-ass clearance. Just been bottled out of the way again. I must say, some of the save animations are more realistic, but they're making keepers look worse. 
Make it look very shaky. It's a good ball, actually. Ah, oh, it's a good goal. A lot of building relations. No, 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 this is just a fun save for... Uh, as if a building relations isn't fun. <laughs> just to get a start. Well, this is starting well for us, isn't it? Have faith. Or something. Maybe I shouldn't have made so many changes to start with. Let's just go back to what we were doing. Let's get rid of that play through the center crap. Um... Tony Watt is just useless in the middle, isn't he? <sighs> Nevers has been okay. Booty, Booty's had a poor half. You can't have that. We need better from the Bootyman. Maybe we're just not destined for Europe. See, we dominate the first five minutes of the second half so far or something. Pass into space. The problem with pass into space, I find, with having pass into space and work ball of the box, it just... Weirdly, pass into space is actually turned on by default in this tacking style, but I've just found that it doesn't work that well. Passing the space for me is just a great way of saying let's lose the ball more regularly. <laughs> it's one of the things I find happens a lot. Particularly in this match engine. Andreas Sheldrup. Isn't he like a historically... Oh, good. This shit's back. Oh, good. Oh, fantastic. I love it. I I've missed that. I really have missed that random nonsense from FM21. What is that about? So enjoy this one, friends. What the hell? So look at this. Why is it flipping, by the way? Keep it up over the top. The defender's there. Goal side. And then just randomly stops and allows him to walk through. Cool. <laughs> That's good. That's some FM21 shit right there. We were done with that. We were literally... We were past that last year. We didn't see that happen basically ever. That's really disappointing to see that back in the game again. Um, A 6.1 for Tony Watt. I guess we're going to bring it on Matt Kudjo. Booty's had a poor day as well. Ah, oh dear. Um, Get you in as well for Neves, maybe? No, who was the other guy we had? For oh, it's um McGrath, isn't it? There he is. Let's get Jamie in. Oh, dearie me. Well, we have been dog shit in this game, of course, as well. But that sort of stuff does really not help. Maybe the uh, three CMs actually is a better idea. Well, not the three CMs, sorry, but the CM in front of the two DMs. What did you miss? Oh, just some horrendous defending that was the sort of stuff you used to see in FM21, where the ball is umped over the top, the defenders are all goal side, and then they just stop and allow the striker to run clean through. That's disappointing. This is a nice passage of play from us, though. Can't you put that as a defender mistake? Uh, I mean, it is a defender mistake, obviously. Oh, my God. It is a defender mistake, but then it's nowhere near the keeper. The reason I'm not putting that down to a defensive mistake is because in FM21, that shit used to happen constantly. And when you see stuff happen like that, on, then it's clearly not a defender mistake. And if it is a defender mistake, it doesn't look even vaguely realistic. That's funny, though. That is a funny goal. The defender has deflected it over the goalkeeper. <laughs> it's the way that they all just stopped randomly. Ah, oh, dear. It's not been a good game. Like, obviously, if it is to trying to display a defensive mistake, then fair enough. But it needs to display it in a way that doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. Clown stuff, of course, does happen. But then you can't use that as an excuse for bugs. Like, and like general nonsense. Because otherwise, then you could basically explain anything away in the game. I don't know why replays are flipped. It's on director. And it's not reversed. Oh, there you can turn music from there. Percentages back. Uh, percentages are not back, no. That chest touch was sick. Yeah, it just looked really bad. It's just unfortunate, really. Why is the director cam flipping it? Managing outside of Europe. Managing US or Australia. Um, I mean, it's fun and all. I wouldn't manage the MLS just because I don't like the league structure itself and the way it works. And the same thing with Australia, actually, because they both have the same problem. But, well, slightly different problems. Like, I wouldn't do it for content, let's put it that way. Because no one would watch it, obviously. Uh, let's... Yeah, can I even make a fourth sub? Okay, I can. Just checking. I mean, 
have an SLC. A part of it is a misunderstanding, but also I just don't like the fact that there's no room for progress. I can't bring a team up to do anything. So it's kind of like I lose a lot of that thing I like about doing saves. Like the the development of a team to become... To go from the top to the bottom. From the bottom to the top to the bottom is what I'm doing currently. <laughs> There's no jeopardy. Exactly, yeah. Like, I can't... And it's not even the lack of jeopardy. That's part of it. But the fact that I can't take a team from being really crap in the lower divisions and bring them up to do anything sort of just doesn't interest me, right? This has been a dreadful performance. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Show from opposite in the replay. I don't know. The replay looks dead like how they normally are so it's weird that it's showing the reversals there so basically the mls doesn't you can't be relegated from it and therefore can't be promoted into it so it sort of defeats the point like i think it's a short-term save if you're in if you enjoy that i think that would be fine but i wouldn't personally get any satisfaction from managing there because i like taking teams up from the bottom and doing stuff like that yeah it's a closed loop <laughs> let me buy my own team in it then we'll talk I think as a one-off, it would be fun, but I don't know. Plus, I wouldn't understand the rules. But that's more of a me not understanding issue, more of a than a, any other issue. Just weren't there. Oh no, viewer numbers are just not there on any save outside of Europe. That is that pretty much goes as a, as a hard rule, really. Uh, see my Africa saves for example. Saves save for example of that. I'm just trying to watch this and see what kind of weaknesses you see in the way that the players move and stuff to see a lot for African journey. Oh, yeah, like 50%, I would say. I, I would go from averaging like 300 to averaging like 150. And that's... It's just so obvious that that's the reason. English... <laughs> My Norway save defined. That's outside of Europe. 4-0. No, it's not gone well, though, has it? We've been absolutely... Tony Wattied uh, by Jill Gordon there. Oopsie. It truly really is disgusting to think you have over 600 feet. <laughs> Do I really? Jesus. That's concerning. <laughs> what do I do to get 600 viewers other than get raided by Clates? <laughs> Just I suspect is the reason. But still. Oh, thank you for being here, everybody. That's very kind of you. I'm not used to this. Sunday giving such a bub. Um, it's new game being out. Clates raided me. And I know Clates and I technically... I know we have a lot of the shared viewership anyway. So... I think a lot of people tend to stay when Clates raids. Because of those reasons. And I think if I was to finally get an opportunity to raid him, damn it. Then, yeah. Oh, we're going to repeal it. We'll be fine. Oh, fuck! Can I save reload? <laughs> Can I save scum it chat? We saved after the last game. <laughs> oh, that's a beta moment right there. Fuck it. I wasn't see I couldn't see which way the buttons were. Fuck it. I don't even care at this point. It's a, it's a fucking beta save. Like, I couldn't even see where the buttons were. I was peering around my mic and I just clicked one. Right, let's try that again. Watch him suddenly get not turned down this time. <laughs> While we're at it, can I save reload the last game? <laughs> there he is. Right, this time, appeal. Try that again. Good God. Right, there we go. Oh, it's going to be televised, is it? So our, our execution will be public. I was talking... When I saw Clayton a couple of weeks ago... Um, I was talking about how I'd never seem to get the opportunity to raid him because he's always on slightly earlier than me. Oops, I should have just gone to a different screen and been like, oopsie, sorry. I'm just, uh, just casually running the intro again. Hey, Rob, have we signed the booty man? Do you think a save could go by where I couldn't sign Regan Booty? Antivoos, thank you for the follow. <laughs> FM streamer cheats live on stream. I swear there was a guy actually that was actually doing that like unironically at one point. Hmm. Also, why has he suddenly got career stats for every... Why is every single panel career stats? What's happened? I am confused, Ed. 
Was that because of the savory? <laughs> Did I just cause this? Chat, am I the baddie? Can I have, like, less career stats? That's the one I want to keep as career. Oh, for God's sake. I already redid all this. I'll have a bit of that. I don't know what was where. Can we see his career stats, please? No. No, you can't. Oh, God. I reckon I could bring him in at MTK. I really do. Remember, I got him at um, Seged. So it is definitely possible. Have you ever seen Clates and James Alcott? They look nothing alcohol. Oh, then again, I have only met Clates and not James Alcott. So, MTK will be fine. A Harab you know what? Technically, we're about to finish anyway because it's nearly 2 o'clock and I've got to get off and watch the Fulham Leeds game. And we always stop the weekend streams at like 10 minutes early anyway. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it here, chat. <laughs> oh, look at those fucking career stats. Did you ever just career stats? But what we will do, uh, this will be good for the uninitiated, before we... Uh, head off today is something rather fun. And that is a Harold Bishop Ultras. If you're new to the streams, you'll pick it up fairly quickly. Um, basically, you've got a little animated emote for Harold Bishop of Neighbours fame. You'll you'll pick this up very fast. Chat, you know what to do. I'll give you five seconds. A five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Harold, take it away for the first Harold Bishop Ultras of 2023's Football Manager. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. The minute you get up tight, you bastard dead. This stream has gone by extremely fast today. Like, way too... F I'm looking at the clock thinking, oh, it's only like 10 to 2. And then I realise that, oh, wait, yeah, I finish it 2 now. I'm not used to this. That's bizarre. But, and this is the best part, right? I now get to look on Twitch and find someone to raid and send an insane amount of viewers over, which is awesome. And I have already decided that that person is going to be... You know what? It's going to be Chesnoid. I was... Thinking, I was like, Tom or Chez, Tom or Chez, Tom or Chez. But I'm going to do Chez because I haven't rated Chez in like ages. So yeah, I'll be back for those of you that are maybe new. I'll be back on Tuesday, uh, 11 a.m. till 3. And then on Thursday, 11 till 3. And then of course, back Sunday, same as this today, basically. Um, as we get through the base with Dundee United, we'll play a lot more games next time, don't worry. Unless we get sacked, in which case, I guess we'll take over Dundee. <laughs> I'm staying in the city no matter what we do. We'll take over Dundee University if I bastard have to. And of course, we've got MTK Budapest coming up soon. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. You, you know the drill. Is there a socials button? I don't bloody know. Um, I'm going to set up a raid now over to uh, Mr. Chesnall Gaming. Good, uh, you came in if you have enjoyed this, by the way, the uh, and you are new to my content, do drop a follow. That would be really nice of you. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just set up a little raid. There we go. Oh, this will be fun. Uh, Darth Thomas, Luis Bernardo, Mirach Ghost. Thank you so much for the follows. Winter, my friends, that's very kind of you. Boness will take Boness. Oh. And now I can chill. I'm excited. This has gone relatively well for the first stream of FM23, I must say. I was expecting it to be a disaster, and it was only mildly a disaster. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you for all the bits. No, the bits. There was bits, yeah. Thank you for the, the subs. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you for all the new followers. Um, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday as we continue our adventure in Scotland, as we prepare ourselves for the beauty that is FM23. So let's go say hi to Je Jez. It's Jeznoid Gaming Chat. I want to find out who's managing. Ask him what his favourite flag is. I'll see you soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye. <laughs>